It's time. Can't wait any longer. I I can't chat. We 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 simply can't wait. We can't do the 10 minute pre-show. We can't do uh 30 minutes of people getting in the seats. We just don't have the time, my friends. I wish we did. Just kidding. I don't wish we did. Because today's session chat. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Today's session's gonna be rough. We joke, we've kid, we've said it all before that today uh you know we were doing like 20 parts of a, of a finale of the misdemeanor and i meant but i today i mean it unless something happens to ourselves in real life we are ending season one today of the misdemeanor today is the finale i've spoke with all the players and they have agreed that we will more than likely be going over today today is going to be a long session so make sure you you get your you get your water, get some get some snacks, get a blanket. Uh huh. You keep saying that, Brett. I keep saying that hey, we got about a couple of sessions, two to three sessions, I think, and then something keeps happening. P, make sure. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna take plenty of bathroom breaks during today's stream. But I'm saying today that. Today is the finale, and I am terrified. This is probably going to be one of the more stressful, probably one of the more challenging um, finales Io has seen. I'm, I'm, I, I am keeping my fingers crossed, and I'm hopeful that our, our players will come out the other side unscathed. But I do have things planned if they are to fail. Season two, do, uh, there will be a season two. I, I, I'll, let me just say that right there. Let me just say that right there. This, is, there will be a season two. But what happens today will determine what that season two is. Is what I will say to that. All right. Without further ado, I'm going to inform our players I'm unmuting. I'm going to give them the same warnings I gave you. That today is going to be a rough one. So let me uh, first let them know that I'm about to unmute. Uh, we woo, we woo. Are you guys ready for today? All right. Um, I missed last week. Uh, I would catch up on last week. The VOD channel's over there. And hey, by the way, chat, we've got stickers now. Head on over to the merch shop. Get yourself some world of io stickers and get a world of io mug we'll talk more about that later uh thank you for all the subs so far uh i will thank you guys at the end of the stream so i think hello. that's the right angle you okay. know hello oh, hello hi. Uh, hi i saw you on mute get wrecked yeah <laughs> wait what <laughs> get wrecked what? <laughs> yeah that's right yeah Throw him off his rhythm yeah. now we're in control now yeah. we're steering the ship hey i'm just i'm just letting you guys know i'm muting just so you got the heads up that started with the request from from you guys and you're like hey so just want to make sure that everything's good um how y'all doing today awesome good i've got i've got Where a coffee it? good <laughs> I got meat, so I got coffee. I got an energy drink. Delightful. Because today's gonna be a today's gonna be a good one. Today is going to be a good a, a good one. Intimidate the DM? No, 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 no. I'm fine. Dodge, <laughs> you have to roll with this Dodger, Dodger doesn't scare me. 
She she terrifies me. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I I I spoke with our audience, and I will give yes. you the same warnings in case you did not. You probably didn't hear them, which is fine. Today's gonna be a rough one. Today's gonna be a stressful session. Okay. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is the finale. Um. I know sometimes a D sometimes I kid and joke with you guys like I don't know if we're gonna, I don't I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen uh oh finger guns but uh I I just know when I say I genuinely don't know what's going to happen there I I I told chat this and I will tell you all that there will be a season two no matter what the no result matter. is it just might not be all us. right guys there might be a whole new cast. no 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 no, no. it'll <laughs> it'll be it'll be what we talked about guys wink it'll be what we talked about yeah. <laughs> you guys are passing notes we've in already, class we've already decided what season two will be if we tpk <laughs> don't worry about it <laughs> what's uh wait what what is it gonna be i feel no. like i should i should don't worry about it <laughs> All right. Something you know how you have secrets. We have secrets too. That's okay. Yeah, we got yeah. secrets. That's See okay. That That's a secret. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I burned the ship down. Now what are you gonna <laughs> do? <laughs> You're all dead. Uh, now just... tell me your secret. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, just, just know. Uh, today is I, I believe is going to be a, a phenomenal session, no matter what happens. <laughs> Let's so. do this, bud. All right. Hell yeah. So let's uh, let's paint the scene from last session. We're, we're uh, as far as recap goes. I'm gonna go extremely brief because man, we've got a lot to do today. Um, you all arrived at the city of Krakesk, the city of the dead. Um, after what was, I believe, uh, a very stressful encounter with the ocean itself. Uh, the waters, the ra the wa the ravaged waters began to swallow up the whirlpool that you were descending down. Um, there was, it was touch and go for a little bit, um, but you all arrived in, you're really uncertain what it is, but it genuinely feels like some sort of like spiritual, almost like some sort of spiritual plane as you see fragments of, of buildings from Krakesk as well as just an undersea area, but you're not really underwater. And as you look around, you just see, it, it looks like you're underwater. The, wor the water itself is like just swirling all around you. At this point in time, you recognize the deal that was made from the little kobold to protect you, a spiritual barrier from a city of the dead, has formed around you. And that is what the blue bars is, just to recap. This is uh, how many rounds you have here until the dead, or the city of the dead, begin to claim you as their own. You are currently warding them off, as a living foot should not be entering these lands. It wasn't all bad news, though. As you all arrived, you entered the lost city of Krakesk's library, and each of you gained... Uh, 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 quite a bit of a boon in one way or another. Um, I, for the three of you, uh, Alice, Luna, and Armstrong, you all actually gained spells that you would normally not have gained within your class. Uh, Alice, oh, yeah. you gained yeah. a, uh, the, the, what I think it was called the Blast of the Deep One. You now have the ability yes. to use Eldritch Blast like a warlock. Uh, yeah. Luna, you now have the ability to cast Cure Wounds which I do want to let you know, uh, in case you didn't know, um, Cure Wounds is a touch spell, so you have to like run up and heal them with <laughs> your hands. She was actually That's just asking. asking. I, uh, I, 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 when I remember, when, I remember going to D&D &D the first time and being like, oh, okay, I'll be the healer. It's like, all right, so what do I do? And I, it's like, oh, you got to run up and touch them. I'm like, oh, that sounds dangerous. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, like, wow? What yeah. do you mean? Yeah, exactly, Can exactly. Um, so, um, mm, nah, nah, I'm going to take the shot. Uh, Luna, uh -huh. in addition to your healing spell, you have gained, uh, <laughs> no, that's dangerous. Okay. I'll, okay. I'm, I'm just going to, what? 
Wait, I like dangerous. No, 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 no. That's it. What, who? I heard. I heard what in the background? What was? Who was that? That was me. What the fuck? What? What well, is this? Hem ha! What's no, going on? No, I. I, I no, I, we I, haven't I, even. Yeah. We right, haven't right, even okay, started. All right, fine. Here you we go. We haven't even started. <laughs> just, uh, okay, okay. Um, so Luna, if you spend a spell point, one of your spell points. Mm -hmm. You can turn your cure wound spell into a sixty foot range. Ooh, sixty foot. Okay, I'm typing this out. Yeah, so okay. that's that. I'm giving you that option, but you have to spend a spell point to do so. Ooh, Ooh. baby. Okay. Do I have to manually add my charisma thingy to nope. cure wounds, or is it built in? No, nope, it's built in. It uses your spell casting modifier for you as charisma, so it's already built in. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And Armstrong actually can cast a spell, Sacred Flame. Uh, you learned the spell from a cleric from the cleric school, Sacred Flame, as a rogue. So now you're just this radiant nope. pirate that's just able to conquer the dead. Radiant pirate. Um, but above all, or at least I feel above all, which has lore <clears throat> implications as well as power, um, Leighton discovered that his sword was forged here in the city of Krakis, which we kind of figured. Um, but that it was actually a legendary, the first artifact discovered uh, from any of the IO campaigns, immortality, um, which is allows him to. <laughs> we are, we are. That's me turning on immortality, you guys. It's like a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> you, you... <laughs> I gotta yeah. go, guys. Oh, this needs to wrap up. No, Why okay. did they do this today? It's, it's, it's yeah. leaf blowers. It's okay. I mean, it's immortality. It's immortality. It's immortality. It's it's immortality. It's immortality. It's immortality. It's immortality. <laughs> oh man. No, it's I'm, okay. I'm, you're you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're good. You're good. I just it's it's gonna know where the sounds are coming from. Um, <laughs> um, uh, immortality is a legendary. There's a uh, right now. Uh, it has a lot of locked powers, but it is currently a plus one great sword that you were able to use uh, Flurry of Blows with. Uh, so when you use Flurry of Blows, you can attack with Immortality and do a, a lot of damage. It also grants you proficiency with the weapon. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the two abilities that you know from it is spending your soul charges uh, to heal at anyone that is 30 feet away as a bonus action. And uh, the Curse of Weakness, which bestows a curse upon a target, temporarily suspending their well, not well, not temporarily, but it, it kind of temporarily. It suspends all of their damage resistances and immunities. The only way that it can be removed is typically through remove curse or any ability that removes curses. And that is what you know about your sword. I we, also can suck the souls into the sword. Yes, that is true. <laughs> I'm talking about like abilities that you can use with the souls. So, uh, but yes. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. But typically, yeah, you can, as you murder people, you can absorb their souls. That is correct. Um, so. I'm sorry. It's so loud. No, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. Um, we wrapped up. Last session, as you have finally discovered the Lady Luck, and it is filled with the crew of uh, your your former crew that you were once a part of, Leighton, along with the captain, which you did make the point that you've already slayed the captain. But the ship must always have a captain. The captain itself is actually linked to the ship, and the captain's soul truly will not be released unless the crew is gone so that the captain can finally disembark so with that we left it to a question you've got time ticking your soul barrier currently have 83 rounds left in this city of the dead what <coughs> What do you decide to do? They aren't hostile. They are observing you. You can oh. press through the ship. Or you can engage them in battle and finally release the crew. Obviously, taking something. precious resources from you. Um, precious time. But 
if you fight the crew and are victorious, you will have freed them from their eternal damnation attached to the ship. The session has begun. I leave it to you. We had uh, we had discussed a little plan here. Okay. Yes, our... I mean, if we slay the crew, set them free, mm -hmm. uh, Leighton's Ark will finally be put to rest, which means that he'll at least have reached the end of his of his torment. But we're convinced that the uh, evil headmaster man uh, is going to summon is going to summon these souls by his side like he did last time in order to end to kill us faster when mm -hmm. the fight starts. So our want and our goal is to convince these souls to get into the blade and join us in the fight. Okay. That's what we'd like to do, but that's we don't know if it's actually feasible. So So if Layton were to try what he <clears throat> tried this time with the charisma roll to like get him to do that, mm -hmm. could uh could we use the help action to uh I don't know, use maybe our persuasion or whatever help does gives advantage or something. Because Luna wants to assist also since she's very, very persuasive. Okay. I think we would probably have to, we would have to take part in the conversation somehow in order to mm -hmm. assist. So it just depends on what you would want to say, probably. We approach uh slowly and non-threateningly. Mm -hmm. And you have this discussion in character. I mean, literally, it's the crew is just looking on to you right now. Not brandishing weapons. They just are staring at you lifeless. Right. Um, I think, yeah, Alice would, would say, they don't seem to want to hurt us. They would have done it by now. Layton. I will allow you to use the sword as a sort of language barrier font okay and you because of this idea you formed up will be able to have everyone assist you in within uh speaking with the crew great what do we say team I feel like the angle is like, would you rather be a be a lost soul here or a pawn in the War Master's game, or do you want to help bring him down? Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the th this is the theory of revenge, right? Like, you know, it's <laughs> it's. I went from being a an enemy, a, a pawn on this ship, to like becoming the, the only surviving member and captain of the crew and there is no crew right and i and i'm sure they all they all probably blame me for why they're gone because i grabbed the sword but, but i mean what i mean what you can impress upon them is like you've spent every single day thinking of how to help them yeah and you finally have the opportunity and if mm -hmm. they would if they could join you like we could really, we could win. Yeah. I think also emphasizing um, the relief of uh, leaving this world, also like leaving the limbo, like that Gerard is the or Leighton is the only one who can do that. Like mm -hmm. that they might be stuck here forever, or they could have release and like through the sword and everything. Yeah, I think we have an angle. We do. I say we try and recruit these guys to join us as best we can. Absolutely. You you should be the one to start though because they know you. Yeah. All right, Brett, that's the plan. Then begin. <clears throat> Captain you see it's this... uh it's, it's been a while no response 
It's it's your old your old pal Layton. Permission to come aboard. The pirates seem Hmm. What's the best way to describe it? The Dead? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the, uh, the the pirates seem unimpressed with your pretense. Mm -hmm. uh, I take out the sword and and point it to the sky to try and see if that kind of gets any kind of reaction. They glance over at you. Um, Alys will step forward a little bit and and sort of low to Leighton say, it's all right, just speak from the heart. Thank you. For ten years I have lived with the pain in my heart. Ten years I've sat here thinking in torment, paying my dues, thinking of what I've done to all of you. I know that I have taken so much from you all, and I am hoping to atone for my sins. The headmaster, he cares not of you. He has used you and abused you and refuses you to send you to the underworld. If you join us, not only will we restore honor to Lady Luck, but I will send you home. You will have peace. And there will be a world where people can live freely once again. The Headmaster cares not for you, or for any of us, or anyone, or any being. So please... Let us celebrate and honor the crew of Lady Luck. Join us in taking down the headmaster. Um, at that point, the captain will face you. And will leap off the boat, looking at you. You speak. Fancy words and a flowerful language. Not that fit of a pirate. Layton, please make a persuasion check. Motherfucker. <laughs> mm. no. The dialogue like continues. Minus one, too. The dialogue <laughs> continues. <clears throat> What you propose, Leighton, makes you no different than the War Master. He, too, used our spirits to embark upon a battle. And now you propose the same thing. <clears throat> Luna kind of steps oh. forward to... Oh, but... No, go, go ahead. ahead. No, you go ahead. Hmm. Luna says, uh, Respected departed uh, captain of this ship, um, I may not uh, have been a pirate here that long, but I've lived at least a century, and I've seen friends be born and, and die, and I can tell you as an elf, one of the most difficult things is walking this world for much longer than the people that we often care about. I, I recall one of my friends telling me that one of the sweetest things was relief and release from this world, to, to be freed of this mortal coil and to leave and go to a better place. And I really believe that in the time that I've gotten to know Leighton, that he desires from the bottom of his heart to bring you all peace. He doesn't want to just use you for battle. He really wants to free you. He feels this obligation so that you're no longer stuck here, but you can be free and you can go home. Um, I, 
Luna make a persuasion check and do so at advantage. Oh, oh, suggesting yeah. <laughs> being able to suggest the fact that freedom is what they seek, not battle. Yes, girl. And uh <laughs> and with oh, that. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yay. 19 and a 20. He looks at you and the grizzled face drops into a solemn one. This one understands our pain. We have been dead for far too long. We seek an escape, a release. He'll look back to you, Leighton. While your cause is just, we do not wish to fight any longer. These are mortal affairs, and we grow tired of fighting for some someone else's battles and reason. We seek release. And with that crit, um, we will advance forward. He seems open enough to express what he wishes and how you are able to do so. I sense a great power emerge from the four of you. You seem to be walking on lands that you are not welcome at while we roam freely. We will need part of that power if we are to be truly released. So. Oh, out of character, for sure, give it to them. Look, either either we <laughs> fight them and we waste a bunch of time and lose some of these bubbles anyway, or we let them take part of the bubbles and we don't lose any spell slots and we don't take any damage and like, <laughs> So like that seems like an obvious trade-off to me if that's what he's suggesting. Sorry, will, Brett, continue. No, no, you're fine. Um, <laughs> I will give you the above board deci decision of what this means. You can release the entire crew now. They will not become, they won't go into latent sword um, for spirit energy. You're looking at about a crew of, that is remaining here I need to do a couple of rolls. Um, rolls. <laughs> one second, please. <laughs> Looking at a crew of 23 plus the captain, so 24 souls remaining on this ship. Okay. So, um, your options are this. Settle the conversation now. Each of you will lose 10 rounds from your spiritual barrier, but that energy will go to release the 24 souls. No combat, no nothing, you'll be good. If you are still seeking their souls as charges for immortality, the conversation will need to go further. Okay. Um, um, I'm... It so we, we you you guys understand the choices correct yes yeah is there is there a world where this conversation goes south or are we like in a good zone right now any sort of conversation can always go south if the wrong thing is said boy ha ha um <clears throat> i i have an idea and it's it's going to sound super corny and super stupid and it's gonna make everyone la laugh. <laughs> okay. But I think it might work. Can, I, can can we continue the role playing, or should we? Do we need to make a decision right now? It's up to you. I'm just letting you know the above ground that you have persuaded them. Um, okay. So before before we continue, I'm I'm good with with. Well, I mean, 
I'm good with letting with spending the, our 10 points each to let them go because that's mm. 24 enemies that we're yeah. not going to have to deal with later on. <laughs> and also, like, in character-wise, that's what you want. Correct. Your character wants them to be at peace. So I think, yeah, absolutely. But continue. Okay. So we're all in agreement that we want to let them go regardless. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Just just know that if... It, it just know that if in D&D &D there, there are no do-overs. So. Aye, but we are pirates. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but I have expressed my statement. <laughs> we are pirates in D&D. &D. <laughs> Captain, I've served you a very long time. We have... Sh we are brothers at arms, through and through, for many years. So I know that you understand when I say... Parley. We do not fight each other until negotiations are settled. We honor pirate code. The headmaster does not. We respect each other. Our crews respect each other. Parley. So you are expressing that even if these conversations go south, combat will not begin in the middle of these conversations until it's all been settled because of parlay, correct? Correct. I need I, you I, I, to roll. Battle is, a battle is off the table. It is in a parlay. The only way a battle would take place is if one of the crew members out Strikes. of turn attacks the other person. I need you to roll a persuasion check. Fucker, I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> yes! Oh! Nat 20! Nat 20! Let's go! He looks at you and states, You keep... You keep bringing mortal affairs into our conversation when we have simply expressed we want release and nothing to do with our mortal lives. Hmm. However, in the sake of peace and because your heart seems just, we shall honor these rules of parlay. Look back at, at Alice. Parlay. Thumbs up. <laughs> Alice looks confused and then gives him a thumbs up back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> I. We agree to let you all go if that is to be required for your freedom. But before we decide to do this, we understand that this is our mortal affair, and you want to seek peace and freedom. However, the Headmaster seeks to take all of the souls of this world and make them as you and your crew are. There will be no world left, only souls. We do not want your fate to affect the entirety of our universe. That is why we ask you to join us. And should you decide not to, parlay, we rest your souls. You'll be free regardless. <clears throat> um, go ahead and make a persuasion check. Oh boy. One more, baby. One more. Not bad, not great. The conversation would continue. It, it doesn't matter the cause that you fight for. We have expressed and stated we do not want to be involved in mortal affairs. Whatever your reason, whatever your crusade, it is just another 
general, another war master. Forcing our, our spirits and souls to fight on beyond what we need to. Yes, I will admit to you that the war master fights with cruelty, seeks to conquer, to kill, to destroy, and rule with impunity. And you believe that your cause is just. And while I acknowledge that, I simply state again, we do not wish to be involved in mortal affairs, no matter what the reasoning may be. Do you still Can press on? M may I say something? If, if the party wishes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> honorable departed captain, I understand what you're saying, that you don't want to be involved in these things, and I completely respect that. I think what Leighton is talking about is that he got kind of tangled up in this, and he feels that it's not so much a mortal affair, and that it doesn't really benefit him as a, a living human being, but it's almost something where he got entangled with non-mortals, with, with departed, with people that were once living, once mortal, but stuck now in this limbo. And he constantly feels their pain and he constantly <clears throat> longs for them to be free, just like all of you. Like every waking moment for the past, I think over 10 years, he's been haunted by that. And he wants so badly for all of you to be freed. And I think our concern with the warlord it's not that we want to destroy him for mortal reasons. It's that as living beings, one day we're all going to die and we're all going to hopefully go to a better place. But if we're stuck in this limbo, if the warlord takes all these living people and confines them to this limbo where they will, they'll never have freedom, they'll never be released, always bound, always hungry, always lost, then your struggle is everyone's struggle. And Leighton just wants to make sure that that doesn't happen, that you're not stuck here, that other people are not stuck here. That's his cause. That's our cause right now. Um, Luda, <laughs> because you have successfully made it a cause about the spirits and not just about the people, roll a persuasion check at an advantage. Thank you. Hell yes, yeah. girl, yes. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. We'll take the 24. <laughs> he will turn to Luna and hit. Whenever he's talking to Leighton, it is a conversation amongst uh, pirates, former crewmates and the like. So he, he has a, a, f a very firm face, but whenever Luna seems to speak, you notice Leighton, uh, an expression on your captain you've never seen before. It's just all that gruff, that hardened spirit just seems to wash away. And the softness of the captain kind of begins to show itself uh, for a brief moment. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'll turn back to you. He'll... <laughs> um, Luna, you'll notice. Actually, I think you'll notice too, Leighton. The faintest smile appear on his face, and Aww. then just immediately wash away, as if he's like trying to hide it. <laughs> and he turns back to you, Leighton. Seems you have an excellent diplomat as part of your crew. Fall silent for a moment. Very well, Leighton. We shall join you for your cause. And if your yeah. fight, <laughs> and if your fight is just, but perhaps we 
shall stay around a little bit longer. He offers a hand. Yes! To, to whom? To, who, to Luna to, or to me? <laughs> to, to you. To you, Leighton. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I, I reach out. Well, I mean, can I can I actually touch him? Because he's a ghost, but... Well, as you reach out, it is it is translucent, um, but you are able to attempt the motion, if you wish. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, no matter how things turn out, you and your men will be free. He nods. Pirate code. He nods. And he will look to Luna. We swear to fight for your crew. And in our greatest hopes, may we protect your wisdom and your innocence. Oh. All right, crew. We have one more fight. The war master has plagued us for quite some time. We have waited by idly. But now, we strike back. We've been left discarded by this villainous war master, but a member of our own has returned. It is with that that I will forego my title of Captain of Lady Luck and officially bestow it upon Sir Leighton over here. Yay! Yay! Captain Layton! Yay! (laughs) Layton! You are now captain. And I am here to serve. Layton's like trying really hard not to cry. (laughs) Just because, like. (laughs) Oh. It's like all he's ever wanted was to like be recognized by his crew. And so, like, this is the first time in his life where it's like being a captain actually means something. May I ask one favor? I. Lady Luck has been through so much. This this ship has become damned, has become cursed. And I can say, I have borne witness to atrocities, the murder, hundreds of people. I love this ship. I, I ask you as her captain, please let this ship rest here. It has served it has conquered, and now it must cease. I the ship this the ship shall the ship should stay. Uh we shall leave. Sorry, like the captain like like tries to like he's like bargaining with himself like (laughs) (laughs) I uh uh I will we'll leave the ship yes we'll leave we'll leave the the ship wise decision shall we disembark captain I Come on, scallywags! The spirits illuminate bright, a bright illumination as you see 24 spirits, balls of souls, just emerge up as the form of the pirates leave the ship. All of them enter the sword. Leighton, you now have 25 additional charges in immortality. Oh, hell yes. Oh, oh man. Yo, 
MVP Luna, though. <laughs> that was great. That went so well. I'm so proud of you both. <laughs> the I will say the conversation will take have taken away two rounds uh, from you instead of the ten. Oh, we awesome. will maintain <laughs> at <laughs> 81. Yes, that's the Yay! best shit. That was, that was the best that yes. could have gone. Oh, I'm oh, so man. happy. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alice will walk over to Leighton and kind of like pat him on the back a little bit, like kind of awkwardly, because you Aww. know. But <laughs> um, and uh, he'll say, "See, everyone's rooting for you. We'll be fine. You're gonna make a fine captain. Mm -hmm. I now let's go." Go take down that war master once and for all. Save the world, I suppose. You're here. I. Let's get you home, boy. <laughs> Alice makes like kind of a pained face and then nods. <laughs> <laughs> you are able to, because of the hull damage, march through. Uh, the ship. Uh, if, you wish to, if you wish to spend any time around it, please let me let me know, because uh, that will take away from your spiritual barrier. Do I have uh, anything of value on the ship? I mean, I think I have everything I need, but I'm trying to think of like, because all the ship has at this <clears throat> point was all that gold, which is gone, correct. and just like tons and tons and tons of wood that just wood. never. <laughs> and less wood. Wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh oh the, the 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 only thing that may have been on value of the ship that you'd remembered is probably a some sort of sleeping quarters for the few times that you did sleep um if you kept any personal mementos you can always check to see if that is there if you did not then obviously it would not be on the ship the ship itself of course has been emptied of its gold coffers scattered across the city of Krakesk from the war master as entry uh, back into this glorious kingdom. If yeah, you do, okay, I'd, li I'd like to go. You go on. Ah, one, one sec. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the sleeping quarters. Okay. I don't know where that is in relation to where we are, but we 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 we, ah, we, we can <laughs> we can role play through it. It's fine. Okay. All right. Um, so in my in my sleeping quarters, I find. Uh, uh, a quill, uh, a hat, um, and a compass. Okay. Anything special about these? Uh, to me as a person, yes. Okay. But they're not like magical or anything like that. If anything, they're, they're like old and useless. Okay. Um, I will say that took you three rounds. Oh, it took everyone three. Oh, oh, I feel bad. It took everyone. I wanted it to just be me. Well, I mean, I mean, it's just it's just time passing. Time passing gotcha. by. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. It's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> for you, Captain. I give him a compass. This who, uh, who do you give it to? To uh, Armstrong. Armstrong. Oh, what have we here? <laughs> Say, uh, a compass that will not really do much. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's my first compass. <laughs> I realized I never learned how to use it, and I kept it as a keepsake. And since you are a real captain, the real captain. You need a compass. Aww. Well, <clears throat> if you're sure you don't want it. I, I'm sure. Well. For Lady Luna. A quill. It doesn't require ink. It's just a, an infinite quill. Wow. Now, I know that's what the boy wants here, but... <laughs> I was going to 
gonna say Aleph looks so <laughs> jealous. <laughs> I... But the boy, I want you to have this hat. Oh. It is the captain's hat. The captain, the true captain who just joined us. He gave me the hat as a, as a token, saying that I would need it one day when this ship is mine. The ship is not mine. And you are a part of this crew more than anyone else now. And if you are to be a part of this crew, you need a hat. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Alice looks like very touched and um, and sort of pulls off Leighton's hat and was like, suppose I can't steal yours forever. And Aww. <laughs> Went it back. Is this hat like huge? Is this another just gigantic hat? <laughs> this is like this is like the most like badass bougiest of hats ever. Like you're Amazing. not even getting a tricorn. It's like a it's like a Barbosa sized hat. It's way too oh it's God. like powerful as fuck. <laughs> he like he like turns it around in his hands a few times, like not sure where the front of it is. <laughs> oh my goodness! And looks around and just kind of shrugs and puts it on. Goes. How do I look? <laughs> you, 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 you look great. <laughs> Alo smiles a little and actually laughs for like the first time since you've ever met him. Just, <laughs> just like, laughs to himself at how ridiculous he must look. And um, uh, when it quiets down a little bit, he'll look at Leighton and he'll say, I don't want to go back, you know. I never intended on going back, so I don't want you to worry about me. I'm, I'm ready for whatever happens. Oh, what a good shit! Uh, well, you're gonna have to live on because who's gonna take care of your brother? Scrum, come here! <laughs> don't, oh, please Scrum, don't call him my Scrum, brother. Scrum, go Why give your you brother a kiss. This? Give your big brother a big kiss. <laughs> no. I <laughs> Scrum <laughs> stares at Alis. Can I roll Look, animal handling? <laughs> looking at him up and down. You don't need to. The hat, the, the you hat on your need. head seems very comfortable for a tired Scrum. No. As he will hop off of Leighton's shoulder onto the hat around the, uh, the, the Barbosa-ish of it all. And you just feel this heavy, this on your head. A scrum will then, with his his one eye, close it and begin to slumber. <laughs> he looks around like, what? What is it doing? Is it? It's very still. Is it doing something? It's sleeping, boy. I hear that wearing a kraken on your head helps you build big manly neck muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, ha-ha, to go with my big manly ankles, I suppose. You joke, boy, but I swear to God, you grew an inch. <sighs> All right, can we just... Uh, this feels so weird now. Can we just go? All right, we go onward. You all press on? Yes. Yeah, let's go. All right. <clears throat> At this point, you will march through the ship. Continue to the other side. And you will enter. Make sure we're good here. The market. Uh, mm. Crossing over, I will say, takes another round. Um, as you begin to hear the, the spirits sort of sort of chattering, uh, chatting to themselves through the other side. It actually sounds like a, a crowded marketplace. You are free to move. True. Let's not dilly-dally. <laughs> we don't know what sort of schemes and trickery these spirits could be up to. So far, no. the spirits seem to be perfectly fine with 
all of the weirdness going on. You're now at 76 rounds. <clears throat> uh, and you're free to continue to move around. I'll, I'll slowly Just update. after he says that, Armstrong starts seeing the table full of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, excuse me, you sir, over there. Hold on, wait, what? Everyone be calm. They're trying to distract us with their wares. You! <laughs> you over there! <laughs> are you, are you, uh, are you the harbinger of the sword? The one that's going to bring it to our emperor, the war master. I have a gift for Sorry. you. Sorry! <laughs> what did you say? I have a gift for you. Sorry, I don't speak English. <laughs> Do you all continue to press through? What kind of gift is it? <laughs> Luna stops. <laughs> Luna, do you stop? Luna. <laughs> uh. Can I? <laughs> uh. Spit it out. What is the gift? It is. It is a bottle of. It, it is. It is a set of our, our finest crocesque wine. They're said to have magical healing powers that will give you everlasting life. Do you wish to have? Everlast. Wait. What? Insight check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah insight the shit insight. out of this man. Uh, just for 11. me. Arcana check. I mean, if we can all. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, Luna. Luna's the one even talking to him. That's perfect. Um. <laughs> The it is a it, it, it is a, a a cask of wines, um, but when consumed, I will tell you, um, it is essentially um, ten sizable bottles uh, of healing potions that each Whoa. heal three d eight hit points when consumed, oh, and it's and it's ten of them. <gasps> and Holy that's just shit. a gift for for Layton. Oh, for the. For the the, 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 the the bringer of the swords, absolutely. Wow. Okay. Who told you to give us this gift? It, 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 is, it is I. It is I, the, the, the a simple kind merchant. We knew you've been coming to bring the sword to our emperor. And this is for you, know, if you that's accept, that's you. please. The catch. Aye, right, what's the catch? No catch. Did you speak with the warlord, or did you? How did you find out that uh, the that he's here to bring the sword? We we have been we we have all been celebrating the return of our emperor, and we have been informed that a great a great treasure will arrive in our in the in in the in the emperor's possession. Oh uh, yes, he I will see. receive a treasure in some type of possession. So you haven't spoken with the warlord, though, is that correct? Oh, a, a lonely merchant like me speak with the war master? No, of course not. It's just simply oh. a note. As you continue to speak with him, your your turns are ticking down. Just so you know. All right, take the wine. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the wine. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Of course, I I I, I have another gift if if you're willing to wait a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What's the gift? I am a merchant of, of, a, of a variety of magical items and armaments. Uh, of course, I would never be willing to charge you at that point. I just need you to wait just a little bit, please, while I, I go ahead and search for something. Just how long? It shouldn't take too long. Um, a half We're a minute. We're really very busy. A half a minute very, at the most. Very, very busy. Maybe Thanks a minute. Thanks for kind spirit. That will be all. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, uh, if you do wait here, it is a free magic item uh, area that you will get uh, free magic items, but it will take up your spiritual barrier. Yeah, in how exchange for how much barrier? Brett. How much barrier? Yeah, Brett. <laughs> like uh, one barrier? At every uh, every ten rounds, uh, you will get a random free magic item. Ten rounds. Oh. Every ten <gasps> points. Painful cost of what 10 points 10 points free magic item one one magic item for for every, 10 points so we all and get if we magic continue item, to wait for every 10 points we'd get a magic item yeah no oh okay i'm out 
<laughs> game. I feel like we did our we did our time getting some. We magic. did our time. We got the souls. We got fucking weapons and spells and of shit. Course we done I our best. It. Thank yeah, the you ten very magic much. potions. That's like a pretty good deal. Yeah. Uh, th was... Thank you. Thank you. I I don't have any money. Sorry. That was a gift. Why, why would I charge you? <laughs> And nothing's free. We're pirates. Uh, uh, so, so, no such thing as free things. So at this point, you will have arrived through what appears to be hoping. Oh, okay. Hold it. Hold on one second. Sorry. Eh? 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 Uh, uh, uh. eh? Uh, you hear the Nobody. roll as you continue to uh, march on. Excuse me, just gotta. Eh, what? Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm sorry, I gotta. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Hold on. Noises, though. Ooh, ee, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, perfect. Now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over to this map. I'm gonna pick you up in your 72 barrier you've got left. Mm hmm. Going to head over here into the crowd and put you over there. And then, whoop ham. You oh, see so a, a street like. of crowd as you hear the roars of a of a crowd as you continue to walk over. Hey, do we want to divvy up potions? Just like establish that we, we all. Oh, yeah. Uh, who took yeah. the, the, the wine? I did. Luna, right? Oh. Or Luna did. Okay, Luna, you have all 10 potions. It'll take you two rounds to divvy it up. Oh, Ooh, God. Okay. <laughs> Better than in combat. Um, can I talk with them about strategy for just, like, how how should I divvy this up between the four of us? Well, um... We'll get three. So you have a heal, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, and Leighton also technically has a heal. So, um, we could say that, like, uh, that Armstrong and I both get an extra one, maybe? Okay. Sure. Okay, so okay. it would be three, 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 two, two? Yeah. Okay. I shall divvy them up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nice. Uh, what kind of healing potions are they? Uh, they each heal 3d8 hit points on consumption. So it may, it may not be the, it not, 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 might, bleh, might not be one you find as an item. Okay. So yeah. just, just make it, I would just make a note of it. Yeah. Healing pot 3d8. Cool. <sighs> Times three. Okie dokie. The crowd itself uh, begins to gather as they begin to see you as you're walking through. <gasps> it's the sword, the bearer of the sword, the harbinger of the sword. For the, for the war master, for the war master, for the war master. As you see just this literally just crowd of spirits begin to swarm you. Oh goodness. Uh, this can potentially lead to a battle, I feel like. We have to navigate through this carefully. All right. Move along. He has places to be. We can't if, get to the War Master if you're all crowding him, what? can we? Can we touch If you the want sword? an autograph, there's a line back when the merchant's can hall. You, Just back up, there. all of you. Can you touch the sword? Can I please touch the sword? No, Absolutely I don't like not. being touched. Please. Uh, this is a busy man. Just show the so just 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 show the show the sword, please. Show you've the seen, sword. You've seen enough. You've seen. I, I'm not showing you my sword. <laughs> At that point, um, through the roars of the crowd, as you continue to march on. You will arrive at what you see in the distance, a, uh, a palace. A very large castle-like building. Hold on, I'll move you guys down here, and I have to change your numbers. The crowd themselves seems to have slown you all... What the frick? Uh, seems to have slown you all uh, down quite a bit. 
So you will now be at, I will say, 62. Jesus. Well, you were at, you were at 69 before. Oh, okay. Making sure we're good. Yep. And 69. Nice. 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 It took seven to get from, how, wait, how many feet do we have? So we it, would have, it, it would have normally taken people. you three um, if you were like rushing through, but the crowd essentially slowed you down. Uh, but you are in front of what appears to be a castle of marble and obsidian. Uh, two spiritual guards step aside as they begin to push back the crowd. The harbinger of the sword is coming. Please, back away. Uh, right this way. We'll hold them back. I didn't Thank even you. think about that in chat. Lopar said, who wants to hop in the sword to meet the war master? Like, can they do that? <laughs> <laughs> can we absorb them? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the sword? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> From the inside. <laughs> I feel like that would definitely be the way for this to suddenly turn bad out there. <laughs> Um, as you walk in, the halls themselves are empty. As you continue, your footsteps echo through what appears to be a uh, almost like a cathedral, a chapel of, of chambers of sorts. Oh, you see an it, altar over here as a spirit begins to wander. Are you the harbinger of the sword? <clears throat> Some would say I'm the harbinger of death, but yes, I'm here. You see these beautifully glowing marble stairs behind you. Please allow me to tell your your fortune before you go through. He will then look at Luna, the, the spirit. You've experienced great loss, yes? Yes. Separated from your people, I sense. Mm. I see something within you. Do you wish to find them? I do. I believe I can point you in the right direction. It will take some time. Wait, wait. Everyone just wants time. Everyone wants time. <laughs> <laughs> Luna's like shook out of her stupor. Precious time. <laughs> she's like staring off for a while, but then she's like, wait, no, no. <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> oh. I can sense something, but I, I will need a moment if you will allow me. Above board, <laughs> this spirit will give you a starting point if you wish to find what happened to the people that escaped from the old academy. When you say starting point, you mean we get one point returned? What? What? <laughs> like, we get, we get, like, what's a starting point? Like, we get one point back He's to our He's gonna health? tell her where to go location. if we survive <laughs> I to, see. like, okay. find people. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, I was like, I'm sitting there like, we're gonna... Trade nine points for one? That doesn't make any sense to me. Incredibly <laughs> literal. I love it. <laughs> I believe I can see something. Your people are still alive. I can give you information. I can give you direction. But I need you. I will need you to wait for some time. Uh, above board, how much time? So, you will receive some knowledge at this point. Uh, location of where you can begin to find uh, your elf compatriots. Um, along of that, uh, some information about some key elves that may be related to you. But how much time? <laughs> <laughs> I will require... 20 rounds. No! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, well, we know they're alive. That's all that matters. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start being told where to search. 
Exploring is half the fun of it. <laughs> Respectfully, I... I appreciate your offer, but at the same time, we have some special limitations that uh, if we linger too long, um, we might not even make it out in order to find them. So thank you, but no thank you. Very well. 20 rounds. <laughs> We're doing good. <laughs> Out of character, yeah, right. this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> out of character. Fuck off. What are you getting out of here with this? <laughs> All right. Uh, See you in season two, motherfucker. <laughs> Peace. Uh, before we continue, we will be approaching the grand finale. Do we need Madam, a bathroom may break? We pee? A yes, bathroom please. break. Yeah, let's pee. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be great. Three minutes. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. E break, everybody. Use your facilities. We shall return at 528 EST. Probably give you a little bit of music, a little bit of weighted music. Oh, I'll, I'll give you some music. I'll be right back. Is everybody back? Is everybody back? I think I'm the only one. Cool. How you feeling right now, Gerard? Good. Good. That fucking... The, go the negotiation portion of the stream could not have gone any better. Yeah. You guys did great. You guys did wonderful. I can't believe. Oh, we'll give it a couple minutes. I say three minutes because I I know it's gonna be five if it if I say three. I know, I know how this works. Yar, yar, matey. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> You're you're so excited, you said? Yes. Good. I'm excited too. It's good we're taking it. It's it's this is good. This is a good this is a, a, a needed pee break. Oh yeah. And I'm so proud of everyone. I mean I think we're all on the same page. Like don't <laughs> sidetrack. <laughs> is, yeah. that, is that you guys talking about during pre-show like look he's gonna throw some shit at us we need to keep no. moving <laughs> we've 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 just we we had such good times you know like we got a bunch of good gear yeah. we got all our buddies to join us at this point everything else is just bells and whistles is trying to fuck with us we just gotta go 
Like, we even leveled up because of our shenanigans. Yeah, that's true. I was huh. the most tempted by the magic item place because I was like, whoa, 3d8 is a lot to heal from, and we got 10 of them. So I was like, what else do we have? But then <laughs> I was like, wait, 10 turns? Oh, it's scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's huge. Yeah. Sure is. So what's how do you do potions, uh, Brett, as far as actions and stuff? Bonus action. A bonus oh, action. Wow, sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. Although you don't need to ask for forgiveness. Because I already am okay with it. <laughs> what? I don't know where right? I was going with that. I thought it was something. I was hoping something more fanciful was going to come out. It didn't. You know, Word yeah, that vomit. happens to me all the time. I just start a sentence and I'm like, I'll get there. And then by the end of it, I'm like, I didn't. No. Nope. I never <laughs> no. got there. Well, uh, milady doth bequeath, uh, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. All right. Humor aside, it's time. The moment we've all been dreading. Or just me? Just me? Okay. Um, more like the moment we've all been Waiting for woo, woo, woo. Beep, 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 beep. You smoke weed every. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! In states where it has been legalized. Uh, you have you begin. <laughs> nice. You have begun to ascend up these marble stairs. Were those vuvuzelas? The woo 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 woo. What are Sorry. you? <laughs> Wait, what? It's just it's the air horn. You know? Air horn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. It's going to take one round out, but that's okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What the fuck? I'm kidding. <laughs> I already took five yeah. rounds from the, bur from the bathroom break. It's okay. <laughs> I swear to God, that would have been fucked up. <laughs> yes, that would have been. All right, now I'm now I'm definitely yeah. removing. Five yeah, ounces. more. Okay, so are we ready? Yes. You ascend up. What is these decadent marble stairs? As a bright light falls over each and every one of you. Once the light dims. You arrive at what appears to be a very decadent castle. The castle of Krakesk. You see the water that flows around you. Clean and beautiful. The marble and, the marble and printed floors. The statues themselves. Faces of the war master. All right. Can we drink the water to heal our wounds? So this is the outside water. This is outside water. You are in a sunken castle. Oh, I see, I see. All right, you're free to move. Huh. As your when there's choirs, you mean business. It's music. <laughs> As your footsteps echo, you see a door in front of you. We'll examine. Uh, the door is unlocked. Uh, it takes you over if you walk through a tunnel that takes you to this what appears to be this various statues of the war master and another door that are over there what is the rest of you doing um I want to look up here what's up here uh, you ascend up what appears to be a balcony and as you walk up you see um, Armstrong in the lower level. Oh, is there nothing up here? A staircase to nowhere? Well, rich people, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, go, he'll go through the tunnel. Hey, we're so impressed you've got a mezzanine. Uh, Luna, do you go through the tunnel? Yeah. 
As you enter, you just see all these decadent statues, this beautiful carpet, um, paintings on the wall hang of the, the war master. To be fond of himself. He is the emperor of Krakesk, after all. Has he always been? He is now. He, is, he aspired to take over Krakesk when he was alive. Oh. And failing to do so. But in death, he has been successful, bringing back the treasure of Krakesk. Mm-hmm. With aid from, well. Shh, don't. <laughs> don't, don't sprinkle salt. <laughs> do it. Um, Alex will step forward kind of slowly because he, <laughs> he's like wary of these things. You see a beautifully emboldened wooden door. Can we kick it down and take no turns? <laughs> <laughs> Kicking down and pressing open would take the same amount of time. No. <laughs> okay. Either way, the door has to open. <laughs> yes. That is correct. Is there any, like, jewelry we could steal off the statues or anything? No jewelry on the statues. Okay. The art uh, on the walls may be of some value that you could probably take with you. But again, time. Okay. On the way out. What, is this what? door uh, is yeah. it unlocked? Uh, it, it is unlocked. You just have to open it and go through. I'm opening the door. You all advance through to the next room. Yeah. <laughs> it once again fades out into uh, light. As you enter the throne room. Well, I was about to go ballistic, but it's like, and you're in the same room again. I'm like, no! <laughs> Not a puzzle time! Come on! Zelda. <laughs> a large throne room. As you look forward throughout, oh, he's you here. see sitting on the throne the War Master on what appears to be an ancient occult throne. A pile of bones at his feet. He will step forward and hold out his hand. If you wish to converse, you are free to do so to your emperor. But just know if you move too far forward, I will take that as an assault and I shall do battle with ye. AKA, Duh. if you move past this spot, uh, you are initiating combat. Oh, right. This one here? This one right there. Here. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you do? Uh, can I look around? Does it look like there's any anything weird about this room? I mean, as you stare around and look, uh, you see statues of the War Master, and over in the corner, very dark, demonic-like statues. Uh, no demons and devils exist in Naya, by the way, but it appears to be some sort of dark and twisted creatures. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Can we tell if he's stronger than the last time we confronted him? Uh, you cannot, unless you enter battle. Oh. Above game, I, do we have anything we want to, like, t discuss here, or should we just... Just go? Well, um, so... Uh... Yeah, we've got this, we've got this spreadsheet. What the th I made another tab called the keep in mind tab. If you guys think of anything that we should like be thinking about. <laughs> um, I wrote on there, Leighton has power over a Kraken question mark because <laughs> that might come in handy. And I totally forgot about that until now. Oh, oh. Um, whatever that means. And I don't think that we've like fully delved into that, but um, oh, yeah, this could be like Metroid. 
where like <laughs> the baby comes out and saves him or something. <laughs> Dude, um, I requested to type on it again. I don't know if you can accept. Oh, I think I already gave it to you. You should be it able to if you refresh it, I think. Account, so I, I had to switch because it wasn't working my, on that account. Oh. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Share. There you go. For and those then, watching, um, I stole a uh, encounter spreadsheet from a friend um, so that we can keep track of, like, AC and health and stuff like that for the thing that we're attacking and we can all look at it at the same time, so. I was um, meaning more like, is there anything we want to discuss with the war master? I mean, right. yeah, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, what is, what is, he just wants to be a boss? Like, why again are we fighting him? Is it because of the reason we said to the souls earlier, like he's trying to kill other people and then imprison them in this world or... We believe, I don't know why we know this or so how we know from, this. From the but... information you've gathered um, from speaking with the, from what you've seen personally, as well as speaking with the kobold, uh, the war master uh, seeks dominion um, and seeks to conquer. Uh, in life, the, all he did was conquer and take over for the city of Krakesk. His ambition has no bounds. Um, as he seeks to rule, essentially, uh, overall. Um, he met his demise uh, when he communed with the Deep One in an attempt to take over Krakesk, where he failed. And now that he is free, he has reclaimed Krakesk. Um, but in doing so, uh, he has dominate. He has completely uh, killed an entire lizard people village. Um, it suggests that he may have taken down a another ship of some kind with all of his people in it. But other than that, now that he's reclaimed his goal, you're not certain what he is capable of. But he is an entity of absolute power. You're also free to talk with him and discuss. If you do wish to decide, he may give you more information. So the mm -hmm. whole thing about... Like, were we making that up? Like, the thing about imprisoning more souls from the world in Krakas? Well, I mean, he's been, he he's imprisoned a, a lizard people village. Um, yeah. He has souls from, from a ship. we believe. Yeah, oh, so, so he might go get more souls, basically, if for whatever reason he needs to? For that, you don't know. Oh, okay. Because that, it, we, we have reached this point. I mean, it makes. I mean, we all thought he was just world dominating asshole here. That's why we want to stop yeah. him. Yeah. He, <laughs> undead king just is like, oh, great. I need more people to love me, so I'll kill everyone and they'll be undead. Uh, I see. I see. That's a fair assessment. Okay. So we but, want to you, did, you didn't lie. You didn't lie to the spirits. If that's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't lie to the spirits. No, 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 no. I mean, he he literally conquered um, anything in his wake to get back to Krokask. Oh. Whether he slumbers here or not, he still committed genocide. Mm. He has committed genocide. He has the potential to do it again. Um, mm -hmm. But as far as, like, what his goals are now that he has the city of Krakesk, um, you, you you simply don't know that. Does he control the Deep One? Again, you don't know that. I don't that, think he that, does. Because... Those are those are questions you will either need to answer in your head, or you will need to address to the the new emperor of. I Kronkask. don't think he can control the deep one because the deep one gave us the powers here to get here, and he and he originally was defeated by the deep one. He made a he made oh. a pact with the deep one, gaining its power, um, but it was it was too much, uh, essentially for him. Oh. So we don't we don't know whether or not he in death has is able to use any of that power. I guess. I guess the true question is: Does he have the Deep One's abilities? Oh yeah, I was a little confused about that. Like the so we made a deal with the Kobold who was like a caretaker of the Deep One, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. which kind of made it seem like they wanted us to take out the Warlord. Is that still applicable? Like, do they want us to kill him? Um, uh, that is, I mean, a conclusion you'd have to come to on your own again. I mean, like he, he said he's a caretaker of the deep one, but also like a, a person that keeps an eye on this 
city, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and so if he believes that the War Master is dangerous to uh, the Deep One, the children of the Deep One, the city, any of that, then yeah, he would be rooting for us. Okay. He has no allegiance to the War Master. He has allegiance to the city and to the Deep One. So mm-hmm. that that would be my mm-hmm. assumption. Okay, I'll, that makes sense, yeah. Also, he uh, you weren't given this power for free. Uh, it, the, the Deep One or the Kobold has laid claim to Armstrong's soul. Mm. So as far so, as... Yeah. Uh, trust worthy goes yeah um all right i think that answers all the questions that i i can answer um without having you without you having to further role play and, and communicate with people that may have those answers for you um what is everybody doing currently freaking out and <laughs> pretending to stay calm <laughs> just refer to Leighton like this is your fight if you've got words for him, say them. But I'll be right behind you, backing you up the whole way. I special delivery for the war master. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we said we'd back him up. It's fine. <laughs> ah, Leighton, you have brought the sword to me, and I Ah-da! thank you. Ah-da! 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 Captain Leighton. Captain. Oh, Captain Layton. No, see, you no. Last time we met, you did not call me Captain Layton. I'm correcting you now. I have been waiting a long time. It is Captain Layton. Thank you. All right, Captain Layton, and you can call me the Emperor of Krakesk. I we're all very impressed. You should be. I've spent a great deal for this conquest. So <laughs> wasn't why- even. Hack it when you are alive. <laughs> hmm. So why have you come here? Uh. <laughs> As the silence I falls over the room. I kind of curious. We've never been to a sunken city before. You know, we went for a stroll. Just thought, <laughs> oh, we'd come here. You Say as living hello. beings decided to come into a city of the dead. I... Yeah, you know, it's new, something to do. Right. Well, no I don't. No big deal. I don't believe that for a moment. That you just <laughs> came here to visit, risking your own life and limb. Aye, and I don't believe that ghostly beard on your face. But you don't see me calling you out. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have yeah. so many statues of yourself? Because I am the <laughs> Emperor of Krakask. It is good Who to pass. Who are you trying to convince us or yourself? <laughs> is it one? Do you only you only need one statue? Why do you have so many? There's... Why don't you just get a mirror if you want to look at yourself? I mean, why do you need to have like oh, all? Oh, the... this is why he needed all of that gold. This is oh. what he spent it on. It all makes sense now. <laughs> enough! <laughs> enough! Statues are expensive. I am tired <laughs> of your rudeness and your audacity. I have given you audience as Emperor of Krakask, and I'll be making the terms here, me and no one else. Now look. I don't know why you're here, and quite frankly, I don't care. But you are a living being stepping upon my soul. My my soil. I don't think there's soil down here, actually. I think it's just marble and ocean floor. Pirates. Pirates. <laughs> Look. I, what? I don't think you could grow anything down here, to be honest. <laughs> you have something I have, I am interested in. The sword at your hand, Leighton. I am willing, as my first act as of emperor, to pardon you. Simply leave the sword here, and I will let you go with your lives. Oh, oh okay, okay. That's <laughs> why, okay. It's a good, good suggestion. It's great. But see, before, before, when you murdered... All of those people. You took my ship. And you turned my crew against me. Even in death. You made a promise that you would try to kill me. And I'm here to fulfill that promise. 
That was a promise <laughs> made. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if if death is what you seek, I am am willing to give it to you. Oh no, you see, you seem to misunderstand. As my background as a how do you say brawling of the wrestling kind never backs down from a challenge and you said you'd come and kill me and you never showed up so i thought you know what why don't i bring my crew here and see what you got how very thoughtful so i'm assuming Uh, surrender is not an option for you so you you thought we were gonna come here just to give you a present was that what you (laughs) thought we were gonna do well, that's the only reason why you would be here, unless you wished a swift death. Um, oh, anyway. that's what we forgot. You know, Luna, we have to go back to the ship. We forgot his other statue we made for him. That's what we oh. forgot. Enough! Oh, that's, that's Let's have another statue. Enough! Statue of a giant butt. <laughs> 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 it looks just like him. Um, Aelis, what are you saying? Um, I think... Aelis would step forward a little and, and say, actually, you know, this sword has really opened up to Leighton. He knows how to do all sorts of things with it now. I would venture a guess that actually he is far more of an emperor of this place than you are. Oh. Alex will look at Aelis like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> a silence falls over the war master. You're trying to lay claim to my throne? Oh, so, see, you used the word trying? I don't need to try. (sighs) I will give you one last chance. Leave the sword at your feet and leave my kingdom. Or... You will not only join me in death, I will make sure that you su- your suffering is eternal. Oh, I was just kind of curious, you know, you being down here under the ocean and all, did you happen to make friends with any, you know, krakens? What are you suggesting, girl? I- I'm just wondering because, you know, you'd think that the Emperor of Krakesk, like, Crocesque Kraken, you know, that it would imply that you would have some kind of a connection or friendship with the Deep One. And I don't, I'm just wondering if, if you were able to do that, if you were competent enough to do that. He smiles. I have allies in all sorts of places. Hmm. That is the most non answer answer I've ever heard. Well, I don't see any of them right now. I. You think I? I you think that I can't take the? the like, you think I can't take all of you on right now? I think oh, you're no, looking. Say that, I, I, there, pal. What did you say, Hunter? I think you're looking for an easy way out here, pal. Ah, <laughs> oh, fools. Very well. If you wish to die by my hand so quickly, I shall give you, as Emperor of Krakesk, the ability to do so. At that point, he will draw his spectral blade and step forward. I need everyone to roll initiative. Yay, let's do this, bud! (laughs) We roasted him, now let's roast him for real. (laughs) We had some laughs, but okay, here we go this time. No, I don't keep rolling so high on initiative. I don't like going first. (laughs) We all rolled pretty good on initiative. I wasn't highlighted though, so it didn't go through. Ah, shit. Ah, Ah, damn it. That That is true. That's okay, I rolled higher than the deep than him, so I'm good. He rolled higher than the deep one. No one rolls higher than the deep one. Nobody rolls higher, <laughs> Nobody rolls higher than the deep one. Um, oh, God. <laughs> all right. And with that, combat has engaged. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. You know, you made a promise. Uh, you know, I told you that you wanted this sword, that you need to take it off my dead body. Well, guess what? The time has come, Warmaster!
All right. Luna. Let's start off with a good old Arcana check to see if we can learn uh, anything about him, like his HP, um, resistances, stuff like that. Make an Arcana check. And yeah. I have several information for you. A 12 will not be high enough. Mm, okay. Um, let's see. I suppose we have to, like, be closer to hit him, too. We're pretty far away, aren't we? Oh, actually. Yeah, what's the problem with this guy having several phases? <laughs> Lightly. Sorry, I'm just trying to make the screen smaller so I can actually figure out the ruler stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, oh gosh. Can I do... I kind of want to figure out if he's got the Kraken on his side. Like, is there something I can roll to figure that out? You've rolled your Arcana check, um, and that <laughs> number cannot give you any more results this turn, this round. Okay. Um... I, I shout back to the other guys. I'm like, I don't know. Do I start attempting to attack him at this point? Do we slowly move closer to try to get more information? Um, I'm trying to remember what we saw him do before. Mm -hmm. um, right. I think I think Aelis would say, well, all we know is that he has that sword. So I would say stay back if you can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Would you guys mind if I passed? Like at this point, I don't know if there's anything you else. You could ready I... an action. Oh. You could say like, if he a attacks, then you do something to react or. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Um. Do I have to choose a specific? Uh, yeah, you're just ready in action. You say, I do this if he does this. Okay. Um, if he comes closer, like close enough within range of, say, uh... oh, man. Uh... Already, uh, do I have to do the move? Like, if I ready it? You, yeah, so you don't spend, if it's a spell, you don't lose the spell slot if it doesn't go off. But if you're okay. like, if you're like, I cast this spell, if he's 60 feet away from me, like, you can say that. And I can choose not to cast it also, if the condition's met? Um, that is correct. Well, if, okay. once the condition's met, you cast the spell. Oh, okay, so I can't choose to stop it at that point. Uh, uh mm, like if things change? Yeah, because yeah, I, 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 I would say you can dismiss an action, but you won't, you can't change the action once you, you, you set it in stone. Okay, I, I guess I'm just wondering, like, if we find out, oh, he's actually gonna reflect it back or something, then yeah, I Yeah, you can I, drop it. You can, at that point, just drop the spell, but you can't be like, you can't be like, I, if he gets 60 feet away, I cast lightning bolt, and then someone does something else, and you're like, all right, it's magic missile now. That you oh. cannot do, but if you're like, I'm gonna cast lightning bolt, and then you find out he's immune to lightning, you could be like, all right, I, uh, I drop the, uh, I, I drop it. Okay, in that case, already uh, Ray of Frost if he gets within range. Okay. Also, just so you know, because I couldn't make it uh, work for your character, uh, your mm -hmm. Cure Wounds takes a, it's a spell cast. It's not an at will, so it, it is a spell that will take up a level one spell slot, just so you know, okay? Okay. All right, perfect. All right, so Ray of Frost, if he gets in range, uh, what range? 60 feet. Okay, so if he's 60 feet away, you will cast Ray of Frost, correct? Mm. All right, Aelis, it's your turn. Um, okay. I would like to also do an Arcana check on this boy. Mm -hmm. Come on, big money, big money. 19. Yeah. So for a 19, I can give you the hit points as well as some other information. Okay, yeah, give us his HP, please. So first of all, we'll go ahead and show the HP to everybody. Uh, visible to everyone. 142. Okay. I will okay. also read off the following of what's happening currently. This is Act 1, The Duel. The War Master begins with 108 temporary hit points. So, first, let me go ahead and show that to everybody so you guys can oh, see that. Okay. Um, each hit point represents one of the souls the War Master still has within him. 
Each hit point lost releases a soul. When the War Master's temporary hit points goes down to zero, the damage that was dealt that attacked does not go to his hit points. So that so if, if he's at like one hit point and you deal 38 damage with one attack, um, it, the 29 does not transfer over. Does that make sense? So we have to basically get him down to zero before any of our hits do anything. Correct. Okay. He's protected by a barrier of souls. Do we know what that spectral blade did last time? I can't, I can't quite remember. Uh, if you're uh, asking me, that's a question I can't answer. I do not recall. Okay. So, sorry. Um, I was, I was trying to figure out where to write it. Um, so this is essentially a shield. It just operates like a shield that we it have to get uh, It operates as temporary, uh, t uh, temporary hit points. Correct. That will you'll have to go through first. Okay. Okay. All right. You still have a full round. Okay. Um. Then Alice will move. Um, okay, yeah, I'll move here, okay. um, and I think that's all I can do. Okay, does that end your round? So, yeah, that ends my round. Armstrong. I'm gonna use cunning action and get to here. Okay. He sure is. And uh, I'm going to look at him and uh, just be like, I've been looking forward to going toe to toe with you again, War Master. And I've learned a new trick since then. And I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on him. Okay. Uh, what oh, yeah. Okay. That is a deck save, I believe is of 15. Okay. He succeeds. Oh my god. As he then sidesteps the sacred flame. Wow. Sidesteps. Okay. Right. That's a whole turn. Layton. Um. This sounds kind of weird. Can I do like an inside check to see if anything in this room is giving him power or anything like that? Like, is he? You can. Like, you can make I'm, a sailing I'm, check for that if you'd like. If there's check? like, if there's something okay. else in the room that's creating him power currently, yeah. That'll be a free action. Oh. Uh. All right, we still have a full round of actions. All right. Um. Well, shit. I'm gonna move right about here. Okay. I'm gonna shoot this man in the face with my gun. Uh, the, the, the that you found in the in the. Yeah. All right. Um, go ahead and roll. Probably should have added that to your character sheet. I apologize. That's uh, okay. Um, roll. Let me see real quick. I forget what it was that he was. Well, you don't you you really don't know what you've missed all the times you've used it, so you don't know what it does. That's true. That's true. We still have we still don't know what it is. I have plenty of ammo in it. You have four shots remaining. Gotcha. Okay. Uh. Okay. So do me a favor. Slash roll one d twenty plus because you're not proficient with this. Uh. One d twenty plus four. Or, 16. sorry, 1d20. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it'd be 1d20 plus 2. I apologize. So it's a 14. Um, so you rolled a 14. Uh, he also sidesteps as this, like, radiant burst comes from the gun. And just, like, it just, it the, the stairs just kind of, like, it impacts on the stairs. But you miss. That is a miss. I wonder if we can, like, hold actions to, like, have them go off when he moves. Like, if we have to... Uh, as long as you are able to do it, you could say, if he moves, I do this action. You're able to do that, yes. Okay. But keep in mind, your saved action uh, is no longer saved once it's your round. You turn again. Okay. All right. Uh, I saw you move up one. Were you moving? That was a mistake. 
Okay, cool. So, uh, anything else this round, Layton? Can I use my bonus action to use a soul to debuff him if he has any buffs? Uh, you'll have to be 30 feet from him. Oh, yeah, I'm not 30 feet. Um... <laughs> Until he comes to kill one of us, there's not much we can really do. Okay. Do you um, end your round? Yeah, I end my turn. Okay. It's all Just, good. Let's go. Let's see what this boy's got. It's now the War Master's turn. He will... Uh, at that point, begin to prepare. At the beginning of the round, if no enemy is within melee range, the War Master may choose to spend a full round top... To, uh, full round uh, to consume one soul, bolstering his power for the battle ahead and preparing to strike his incoming enemies. The War Master gains the following this round. Well, gains the following. A one stacking bonus to damage for the rest of combat. He takes, in addition, he takes the dodge action currently for the um, until the beginning of his next round. And he may use a reaction to attack once with his Spectre Saber to anyone who enters melee range. Let's, let's take the dodge action until uh, the Any attacks until his next round uh, suffers a disadvantage. Because he's now focusing on dodging. And he loses one temporary hit point as he absorbs the soul into himself. He currently has a permanent plus one to his damage uh, rolls. Luna, it Ugh. is now your turn. And he only is able to right? And he is only able to do that uh, when no one is in melee range. When no one is in melee range. Mm -hmm. um, so for the dodge action, can, can he only dodge once? Nope. He is dodging until the beginning of his next round. So he has disadvantage. So until the beginning Jesus. of his next round, he's got he's able to uh, roll disadvantage or any attacks made against him are at a disadvantage. He already has this buff. Correct. Well, it, okay. He has it now. So we use preparation. He gained the plus one to damage, which is throughout the entire combat. He's taking the dodge action until the beginning of his next round. And as a reaction, anyone that enters uh, range, he can spend a reaction to attack. Um, that is something that he used just now. I just moved up here just to let you know. Okay. Um, I don't think I fully understand that. So he can do like dodge an unlimited amount of times, basically? For this so round only as the dodge action. So when you take the dodge action, you become harder to hit, but you have to spend your entire round to do so. So instead of combat going into damage, things like that, uh, you can take the dodge action, which means uh, creatures suffer that attack you have to roll at a disadvantage because you're focusing your dodge. So currently, for this round only, until the beginning of his next round, all attacks made against him are at a disadvantage. The plus one bonus to his damage is a permanent buff for the remainder of the combat. And until the beginning of his next round, he can spend a reaction to attack anyone that goes into melee range. Is melee range five feet? Correct, it is, it is a, whatever his melee range of his weapon is. Oh, I bet we're going to have to use Leighton's sword to debuff him or something. Um, okay, well, I guess I'd like to do an Arcana check to see if I can find out anything about, like, how to better hit him or if he's going to reflect anything or anything like that, I guess. Uh, like resistances and things like that? Mm -hmm. Um, a 15 will not be high enough for this uh, to, to vault that information. Really? Okay. Um... Hmm. I guess I'm going to do the same thing, like where if he. Oh gosh. <clears throat> like he, he gets... wants us to come to him. Yeah. Yeah. And he unfortunately has more points to wait us out, so we are going to have to bring the fight to him. It seems like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So it's possible to hit him, but I basically would just roll at a disadvantage. Correct, for this round only, until the beginning of his next round. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna try something. I'll, I'll attempt to cast Chromatic Orb. Okay. Um, and uh, I will do it for um, lightning. Um, yeah. I'll do that. Range so 90 I, feet. I, yep, you hurl a four inch diameter sphere of energy at a creature that you can see within range. You chose lightning. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then you make a ranged spell attack against the target. So do so at a disadvantage. Okay. If the attack hits, it deals 3d8 points of damage. Um, so I just do... So you, the roll ends up being 11, which is not high enough to break his armor class, so it misses. Okay. Do uh, we know what his armor class is yet? I don't think we do. We don't have it yet. We know it's above 14. Okay. Alice. Um, okay. Uh, I will toss out an Eldritch Blast. Why not? Okay. Uh, do so at disadvantage. Disadvantage. What's the... What do I hover over for disadvantage? Um, so I think it's a control click on the on the Eldritch Blast. Yes. Um, but if you can't get to work, just... Oh, there it is. 22. Uh, 22 wow. hits. 22 hits. So um, right. Oh, you have to roll twice uh, because it's two blasts. I already did. You rolled once. The twenty. You rolled the twenty-two. Oh, you have to roll. To hit twice. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-three. Wow. Uh, both of those hit. Um. Okay. So. so an yeah. Nine for both. Yeah, I'll accept the. Uh, I'll accept the nine for both. Um. He appears to be resistance against your eldritch blast. Ah. So. Uh. Uh, he, instead of 18, or actually 9 and 9, uh, oh, I'll do 18. Uh, we'll say he, only 9 damage is dealt. Oh, as you okay. see, as you see souls and spirits released into the air as he looks around and he stare, he then, uh, looks over at Aelis. Uh, does that end your round? Uh, I will also float. Okay. Do you want to do any kind of arcana checks or things like that? Oh, yes. Oh, look at you. Yes, I would love to do an arcana check. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I want to, unless somebody already did this and I was spacing out working on the sheet, um, I want to do a check to see what is happening to the spirits as we're hitting him. Okay. Like, are they still in the room, essentially? Okay. Which I guess would be Arcana. Yep, Arcana's fine. Uh, I hit it, but I don't know if it's going through. 19. 19. Uh, the spirits are being freed, so they're not in the room anymore. You are actually okay. releasing them from their eternal torment. Wonderful. Mm. All right, Armstrong. Okay, I think, um, unless you guys think this is a bad idea, I think someone is going to have to get in melee range or else he's just going to keep doing this thing. Somebody has to, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty okay. I have high AC and uncanny dodge, so I don't really mind if he gets to swing at me. Okay. Okay. Let's go, bud. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, whoop. 60 feet. I'm using the <sighs> dash for my cunning action. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and make an attack with my plus two rapier. All right. Manage, right? Uh, at disadvantage, correct. The 14 is not high enough to hit. Okay. Um, Layton. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do another Arcana check, or uh, not Arcana, it's Alien check to see if there's anything in the room that he's drawing power from or source from in case like, okay. we can try and do that. All right. Not high oh. enough. You still have a full round of action. Uh, what do you do? Um, if I shoot him, it's a, an automatic dodge. It's a it's a dodge, so it'll be at a disadvantage. So you have to roll twice, and we'll have to take the lowest amount. Gotcha. Okay. Um, in that case, what I'd like to do. Where's my ruler at? Okay, I'm gonna move. Okay. And I'm gonna try and shoot him again. Okay. Uh, so roll 1d20 plus two twice, and we'll take the lowest amount. 1d20 plus two. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to roll twice. Correct. 13. Five. We'll take uh, the five. It is a miss. You have two charges left on the gun. That's all I can do. All wow. right. It is now the War Master's turn. And the War Master has someone in melee range. So he commences with his duel. He will use a multi attack. He attacks his with Spectral Saber four times. These attacks must be evenly distributed amongst those that are within melee range. Since, there, since there is one, uh, he will attack Armstrong four times. Four times. Correct. Fuck. The Spectral Saber has an added effect. Any creature knocked out by the Spectral Saber must roll twice on death saving throws, where you must take the lowest result. What? So it is an extremely dangerous weapon to be felled by. Originally, it was simply if you were knocked out by the Spectral Saber, you died. But since you are of a higher level, you can actually stand a, uh, a stronger chance against it. We have to do two death saving things if you're knocked out by the blade, you Correct. Said? So on your first round of the death saving throw, you roll twice, and then you have to take the lowest roll of that. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. It is an extremely dangerous weapon um, in the City of the Dead. Uh, 20 to hit. Yep. 19 to hit. No. Uh. All right. 26. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Yeah, All four hit. They do. Oh, my gosh. He will deal the following. Uh, gonna okay, dodge some of it. I oh mean. yeah, uh, twelve damage of slashing. It's magical. That on the first hit. That's on the first hit. Okay, that was max damage, so I'm on candy dodging that one. Uh, well, it, it, in addition to that, it's an additional eight. Oh god, so it's twenty points of damage total from the first attack. Eight fire, and twelve um, slashing. So if I you like, kind of take damage, ten, you reduce to ten. So ten points of damage on that uh, attack. Uh, another six and another two, so eight points of damage there. Uh, nine, seven, so 16 points of damage there. This is stupid. Does Leighton have 100 HP? Am well, I seeing that right? That's, that's Armstrong. Uh, and oh, 19 yeah. points of damage at that point. Well, I'm out. So at that point, you just see him knocked down at that Shit. point. Oh my god. What the As you just see him just in a flurry of blows go up. Uh you are knocked unconscious. Oh my goodness. Uh Luna, it is your turn. Um when he's, he's unconscious, can I Revive him, or is that different from the? Cure you can wound? use a healing spell, uh, which will revive, will, which will bring him back up. No oh, man, but I can't get there. <sighs> well, you can remember you can use a sorcery point to make it ranged, and on his turn he can drink a pot as well. Okay, as a bonus I'll... action, that is correct. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll do that. Then, um, I'll use a sorcery. Point. Well, you have to, will... you're, you're going to have to move first, just so you know. Oh, okay. Um, so you can be in range of that. What is the range for that one? 30 feet. feet. 30, 30 feet. 30 feet. Um, okay. Oh, I can't get there. You will have to move 30 feet and then use it. And that'll be the last uh, tip I give you. You haven't moved yet. Okay. I'm, I mean, I can't get within... 30 feet She's saying it takes 40 feet to get within 30 foot range. Yeah. Hold on, let me let me check the notes real quick. Because I'd have to move 40 and then. Yeah, he's G70 away. Shit. Hold on. Well, you could. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's 60 feet. I apologize. It's not 30 feet. 30 feet oh, is. I mixed it up. 30 <laughs> feet is 30 feet is Armstrong. Holy 60 shit. feet. 60 feet is Luna. That's my. That was my mistake. Okay. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna. Let's see. I think it was. Shoot. Um, let me double check that calculation. Sixty feet. Ten. Ten feet. 
Um, and then 60 feet to the warlord. Okay, I'm gonna move to here. Um, I'll spend a sorcery point. Mm -hmm. and, and also, if you spend a higher spell slot, it heals more. 1d8 per spell slot. Okay, um, 1d8. Let's do a second level. Okay. Spell? Is that good? That's um, fine. Uh, so, yeah, you can roll 2d8 if you want to do it manually. Uh, slash roll 2d8 plus, and your Chris modifier is 3, correct? Okay, yeah. 2d8 Two, plus 3. 2d8 plus 3. So there's the first one. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 19 oh. health. Critties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then I guess I, oh, oh, the checks. I wanted to do an inside check to see if there's anything like around the room. Like, I think they tried to do this before, like see if there's anything around the room that's like helping his power. Or... All right, you may roll mm -hmm. like an Arcana check to do that. Oh, I can't use insight. It is Arcana check to scan for battle mechanics. Oh, okay. Uh, with a 16, uh, I can tell you, as you look around, there is nothing in the room that is giving him power. He is attacking with his own strength. So it's not going to be some kind of stupid hit the button to stop him mechanic. Yeah. None of that. <laughs> I guess I'm done then. Okay. You brought him back up and prevented that uh, disadvantage to death saving throws. So you're, that's, that's oh a good gosh. one. <laughs> um, we are on rounds. Oh, I also have to make sure everyone's barrier is going down as the rounds of combat tick, tick, tick. Alice, um, it is your turn. I have a request. Yes. Could we, along with our bubbles, also see the HP of our companions? Uh, you can. I believe you have the ability to control that on your own. If you can't, um, I can set that so you all should be able to control it. Uh, what yeah, is your current able to control time? It'd, like, it'd be nice to see. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Armstrong, what is your hit points and your max? Your current and max? 19 out of 48. Okay. Making sure we're good. Boom. Uh, Layton? 65 out of 65. All right. 65 out of 65. Um, Luna? 46 out of 50. 46 out of 50. Where did you lose the four hit points before? Um. Huh. You know, I can't remember. <laughs> All right. We'll set you back up to think... 50 because you should be at full yeah, health. Yeah, I think you might have full health because we long everyone, everyone should be at full health. Okay. Um, And then Alis. 40 out of 40, please. All right. There we go. There, you guys Thank can see you. everyone's hit points, correct? Wonderful, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. A-list, it is now your turn. Okay. Um, also remember Arcana checks along with your, if you wish to yes. learn more information. Uh, I want to Arcana check this area back here, all of this water back here. Mm -hmm. I want to see if I feel anything. Like, <laughs> I think a probably, like, kind of offhandedly to scrum is like, you tell me if there was something strange over there, right? And, um, <laughs> and like, wants to kind of see if he can feel any any sort of weird magical aura like, from back there. Like outside the castle and in, in, in the ocean? Yeah, behind behind where they're fighting. Roll an Arcana like check. It. 11. That, that won't give you anything. Okie dokie. All right, nothing, fine. <laughs> uh, I think he'll step a bit closer. How close are we right now? Um, oh, I forgot to set myself as, why does this keep working? I forgot to put my little wingies on. That's good. Um, he's going to go here. Okay. And actually, wait, where was I? I think I was there. Okay. Okay. How 
close can I get and still? It's resistant to everything, and then we just have to do something with light and well... sword. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, that's true because we don't we don't know about slashing damage because his his sword attack didn't hit. Mm -hmm. Um, such a butt. What a butt indeed. Mm -hmm. I will. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to cast this. I have blindness, deafness. Okay. But I don't, I don't know if it'll even work on him, and I did not check it. So I'm going to magic missile him instead. Okay, roll that beautiful magic missile. Roll that beautiful bean footage. A what level spell? Uh, I'm casting it at second. I need you to first roll a d20. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> that's a 18. good. That's a good. 18 on the little boy on the little boy chart. <laughs> uh, let me check what that is. 18. You deal maximum damage. So how many Ooh, missiles are you casting? Yeah. Hell yes. <laughs> so um, at second level. That is, oh, come on, go away. It's four, four missiles. Darts. So that's 20 points of force damage. Hell yeah. Resistant to the force, he only God takes damn 10. It. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but first blood took some damage on that. As you see, souls going everywhere. Oh, and then I must show you. Why does he, if he's resistant to the force damage, does that just mean he takes like half of it? Or how does Correct. that work with your Correct. Oh. And we'll also be putting another bar on top of Alis at this point. Uh oh. I should have done it with the, the first damage dealt. Okay. Oh, okay. What is that? This is fine. <laughs> three, three bars. I'm, it's fine. I will say that the bar before was. Oh, sorry. There we go. Uh, the bar before was at a four, and now it is at a nine. What? Okay. Uh, Alice, does that end your round? Yep. Hey, what is that nine? Why would it be at a four and then it didn't? I did. I've done damage to him twice now, and there's a bar. Oh. He's marked me with something, but we don't know what yet because I haven't been able to do a check on it. So. There's right. something, there's something added to me since I've attacked him. Uh, Armstrong, it is your turn. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Here are my thoughts. I can, I can attack him. He won't have his dodge thing. And then I can disengage for free and get 60 feet away. But I wouldn't be able to drink the potion if I go 60 feet, if I go all 60 feet. Or I can do 30 feet and drink the potion, but I'm not sure what his movement speed is. I mean, as far as I know, he's not moving because he he wants us to move to him. Yeah, he seems like a not moving guy. <laughs> All right, y'all think I should drink the potion? Um. Also, Layton. Yeah, um, because even if Layton gets up there in melee range so that those attacks are split between you, uh, you're still going to take a fair amount. I mean, yeah, you're we're still only at 19 health, dude. I think the plan should be hit him, use your bonus action to heal. I'll jump in, and that should divide the damage from the two of us, and you should mm -hmm. be okay. Okay. All right. You want to get in melee range and. and split the... Oh, yeah. I'm a fucking... Okay. All right. All right. I also want to let that. you know, uh, Layton, and I forgot to mention this at the beginning, your... And I, but I put it on your sword. The healing spell that you have, you can cast up to 30 feet. That's where I got the 30 feet from. Um, but your cure, even though it, ta it takes... It takes souls, um, is a bonus action cast time. Just so you bonus know, Layton. Action. Oh, that's cast nice. Time? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. So you could attack and then bonus action heal somebody with a soul. Gotcha. Wow. But, it, but, your, first. but your range is 30 feet, just so you know, on your heel, Layton. Understood. All right, yeah, I, I can use that bonus action to heal you, uh, Hunter. 
Okay. All right. So I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna look at him all narrow eyed, like I just giving him the death stare and pull out a potion and without breaking eye contact, chug the whole thing as I stare at him. It's like a. It's like <laughs> a half a bottle of wine. Uh, you heal for eleven. Nice. Ah, oh, much better. Okay, not too bad. And then I'll go ahead and attack with the rapier. Sick. That does not hit. Uh, uh, what? Bummer. Okay. Well. All right. I'll stay put. Okay. Layton. Okay. Um, can I use my Arcana check or Insight check to see if he has any buffs on him that are fucking making him so powerful in terms uh, of stats? Oh, like a- additional things? Yeah. Um, you can roll an Arcana check. Fudge. Or not Arcana check, nope. sailing check. I'm sorry. Oh, sailing check. Yes. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, the 14 is not high enough. Sorry, I'm so nervous. You're nervous? Yeah. <laughs> He's rooting for us, guys. I'm always rooting Ever- for you guys, but I, as DM, can never hold back. Okay. Wish I knew what his constitution was. <laughs> um, well, if he ever has to make a con save, we'll be able to see. But. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Can I make a. Okay, yeah, thank you. What were you going to say? <laughs> I-, I was just going to ask about because I want to try to be in his line of sight, but you're fine, you're fine. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right, let's let's try. Um, ugh, that's a miss. With a plus eight. Have you used uh, your bonus section? No, I have not. Oh well, you also have extra attack. So, anyways, continue. Oh, do I attack twice or no once? Uh, with extra attack, you can attack twice whenever you use the attack action. Do we nice. know Layton's ability to, like how he removed those um, resistances from the the robot ladies? Can that work here? Do we know that? Uh, roll your damage, please. Roll for yeah, damage. Yeah, I mean, he, he should be able to. He tried to do it earlier, but he wasn't in range. He's the 25 hits. That is correct. Uh, he is resistant and only takes <sighs> six points of damage. Because he, I because yeah, I hit him. Everything. Because I hit him, Brett, Mm -hmm. I'd like to spend a key point and institute Stunning Strike. Okay. It it basically knocks him on his ass unless he does a con save right now. Uh, Okay. Um, One moment. He has to do a con saving throw of minimum of 14. And what happens if he fails? If he fails, he falls over until it's my turn again. Is he knocked prone? Does it actually say that? What is the actual description? The action says uh, the target will be stunned until the end of your next turn. Uh, okay. Constitution? Yeah. Constitution right. throw has yeah, to be yeah. above so, 14. So, yeah, stunned is an effect. Prone is different. Okay. Come Let's do on. it. Wow. Let's is, fucking go. He, is, he go. is not immune to stun, so he is stunned until the next uh, round. Oh. <laughs> Why do I have a three on my head? Because you, you did damage to him. I see. Drake and I could kiss you. <laughs> so just so we yeah, know what... Bitch. So we yeah, all bitch. know what stun does. He's considered incapacitated which means he can't take actions. Uh, in addition oh, cool. to that, it is more than that, um, he uh, automatically fails strength and deck saving throws. 
Oh, and sweet. his attack and attack rolls against this creature now has advantage. Oh, I'm so <laughs> excited for yeah. that. And that is until Let's the beginning go. of Layton's next round. Sweet. So we all get to drop the hammer. Uh, <laughs> so the War Master does nothing because he can't take any actions or reactions. Oh, it is God. now <laughs> Luna's turn. Okay, I'm gonna move to the 30 foot spot here. I'm holding my finger on it so I know where to go. Um, I want to cast Lightning Bolt. Yes. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm tired. Yes. Okay, ready? And click. He automatically fails on dexterity saving throws. So he takes <laughs> the damage. He is resistant to lightning. So he takes 14 instead. Okay. All right. Um, and I'd also like to do I guess I'll do an Arcana. Well, you know what? I want to follow up with what Aelis did. And I want to see if I can sense anything in the water, like the deep one, any connections between the deep one and I'm him. I'm saying, stuff. like, I got, well, you don't know. I've got friends made me go, there's a fucking, there's something in the water back there. <laughs> All right, roll your Arcana check. Four. <laughs> okay. Uh, does that end your round? Yes. Do you have, don't you have a bonus action or no? Um, what can my bonus actions do? You can spend a spell point, uh, or you can spend spell points to turn your to turn a cantrip into a bonus action. But other than that, that is the only bonus action you have left. That might be the time to do it since he's just a sitting duck. Let's take this asshole down. Okay. So just do a cantrip. Well, you have to spend your spell points. Remember, how many spell points have to spend to turn into a to quicken a cantrip? Quickened requires two sorcery points. Hmm. And it's ultimately up to you if you want to start spending those points now. I don't. I'm thinking maybe I need to save that for ranged healing. Um, because I think maximum for spells, if I did Ray of Frost, for example, I think the most I could hit would be half of. 16, so maybe like eight damage at the best. So, yeah, right. um, I could do it if you guys want me to, or I could save it for heals. Yeah, well, he's resistant, it really might not be worth it. Okay, um, <clears throat> okay, I guess in that case, I guess I'm I can only quicken a uh, a cantrip, correct? Correct, okay, since you've already cast a spell this round. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm done then. Uh, okay. Next up is Alis. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I, uh, is, wait, sorry. Let me double check something really fast. I just realized my notes don't say this. I'm trying to remember what damage type frostbite is. Okay, cold. Can I do a check to see if he's resistant to cold? I know he probably is, but just to see. Is that the question you're asking? Yes. Okay. With a nap. I will tell you that he is resistant to cold. Great. Um, and with a nat 24, I will actually give you more information. Okay. He's resistant to everything. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. I figured. <laughs> Been like magic. Go ahead and erase all these. Everything. Everything. Great. All sources of damage he is resistant to. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Don't don't freak out, dads. Um, Aelus is gonna get in there. Oh my gosh. Like the the more people that are there, the less damage everyone's taking, right? So. That's right. Um. He's going to get in there because I still have, I realized from when we were above the city, I cast mage armor on myself and that lasts for eight hours. So I still have that. Right. Um, so, and I have shield if it gets hairy. So I've got, I've got stuff. I can be in here for at least a hot minute. Um, I'm going to 
uh, use my cantrip, deadly coruscation on him, and do 1d10 lightning damage. Okay. So I'll roll. What would it be? D20 plus charisma? Well, uh, it is. It would be a spell attack. Yes. So um, I'll just hit the spell attack button. Yeah. Correct. And you deal 2d20 or 2d10. Because you are now level six. Right, two d ten. I forgot. Uh, ro- Eighteen. Uh, roll again, because you have advantage. Come on, eleven. Uh, the eighteen hits. So two d ten points of damage. Fantastic. Two d ten. Ah, only six. Three um, points of damage. But. Uh, I will also use Heart of the Storm and do an extra three damage to him in a, Nine, in a burst. Nine, eight, four, so I think it's a three. Yeah, okay, so another point of damage. I believe cool. that will also increase you up to there. Okay. Um, <laughs> if this is a damage multiplier, I'm fucking dead, boys. <laughs> Armstrong. <laughs> Let's go. Does 21 hit? Uh, 21 does hit. Yes. Let's slap that sneak attack on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, 17 points. Uh, he is resistant. Of course, of course. I am thinking about drinking another potion. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Seal for 17. You are now you at nice. 47. You're nearly at max. Yep. Amazing. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Good. Does that end and your round? Yeah, that's it. Uh, Layton, he is stunned until the end of your round. Correct. All right, motherfucker. Let's do this. Um, I am going to use get one of Get rid of those resistances, baby. I'm going to use yeah. that one. I'm going to use a soul to get rid of those fucking resistances. You bestow Chris a uh, curse of weakness on him, um, and his resistances and immunities drop. He is no longer Ooh. resistant to everything. That's great. That is, that is a standard yeah. action, just so you know. Do you want to? That was my that? bonus action. No, that is a standard action. The curse of weakness. Standard action. Yes. Do you still want to do so it? So that's my. That counts as my attack. Correct. Okay. I mean, if we needed to one do attack it or both attacks. Yeah. Uh, whenever you attack, you take an extra attack, since that and an attack is a standard action. Um, so is the Curse of Weakness is a standard action, so you cannot attack again. Okay, so... So the bonus action. I have a bonus action. Yes. What can I do with my bonus action? As a monk, um, there are a couple of things that you can do as a bonus action if you spend, decide to spend a key point to do so. Uh, you can... As a bonus action, it's been a key point to take the dodge action, which allows a, uh, all attacks against you uh, will be at a disadvantage if you do decide to do that. You can also spend a key point to disengage or dash as a bonus action. I could use a, I could use a, could I use a bonus, a bonus action to do flurry of blows? Uh, only if you're attacking. I see. Mm-hmm. Immediately after you take your attack action. Well, guys, I wanted to do a whole bunch of great shit here, but unfortunately, no, it's, you, it's you really did. worth it. You did the most important thing. Yeah, so. yeah. It was right. having everything we did. So uh, I, I believe that ends your round. That ends my round. Oh, uh, can I Arcana time? Uh, yes, you can. Arcana what would you like? time. What yes. Would you, uh, well, it's sailing for you. Sailing what would you, time. Yeah. Sailing. What, what would you like to try and find out? What do you guys think? Um, I could, you know that red bar? Uh, I just wanted to point out that I think yeah, we should it, check what the red bar is. Percent of the damage we dealt because I noticed mine's seven, and I did fifty percent of twenty-eight, so that was fourteen damage. So for me, it was fifty percent. I don't know about for you guys though. It's the same for me. I did six points yeah. of damage, and it gave me three. I did okay. eight. Okay. Interesting. Um, can I see what to see what the fuck that thing is? The bar. Sure. Make a sailing check. 24, baby. Wow. This, Hell yeah. This Let's is secret. your vengeance stat. Uh, the amount of damage that you deal is halved and added to this bar. 
you but, will f you will find uh, out in this encounter that there will be things that take that use your vengeance stat against you. Huh. Vengeance stat. Correct. Okay. He can take vengeance on us. It's he just uh, like sits around using souls to protect himself and then has vengeance against us. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a, what a sore loser. You're right. <laughs> The War Master will now use a multi-attack that will evenly split amongst the three. Can everyone roll a 1d6 except Luna? I would like to see where the second attack is going. Whoever rolls the highest will be the one that takes the second hit. Uh, Armstrong and, and uh, Leighton roll another d6. All right, Leighton, you will take the sec. You will take two Spectre Sabers. Uh, Leighton, you will take, and it literally is just gonna hop. He's literally gonna like look over at Leighton and slash, and then turn back to uh, turn back to Armstrong, and then slash over at uh, Alis, and then go back to Leighton. So that is the order that's gonna be. Leighton, this roll is for you for twenty four to hit. Uh, he will then uh, turn around over to Armstrong. With an 18, does an 18 break your armor class? Yes. Okay. Why does he roll so good? He will then turn over to Alis and slash up with a 25. Oh, Jesus and yeah. then Why? And then finish up as he slashes down to up. He goes airborne for a little bit and slashes down again at uh, Leighton. For 10, that one does ah. not hit. That ah, is a nice. huge How miss. How does it feel not to roll so high? Big whiff. <laughs> I'm gonna yes. see. I'm gonna see if I can use this. Uh, there, that works perfect. Uh, 13 points of damage, eight of it being fired to Leighton. 17 points of damage, uh, five of it being fired to Armstrong, and 20 oh, points no. of damage, eight of it being fired to Alis. Okay. Um, I'm now going to take everyone's hit points. 13 damage. Okay, to all right, that's what I was waiting for. Yes. Uh, so eight points of damage to Armstrong and a whopping 20. Does fine, Mage fine, Armor help with that or? His armor uh, class Mage is higher. Mage Armor just brings me up to 16. So oh. A 25 still definitely hits. Even, <laughs> even if I put shield on, it wouldn't have helped, so. All right, this baby has no resistances. Luna. It's time to put him oh, in his yeah. grave. Okay. Put this um, boy is, down. Is he going to be able to dodge this turn? He has not taken a dodge action, so no. Can't. So I can try another lightning bolt at this point. Correct. Although dodge okay. wouldn't have affected lightning bolt because it's for attack rules. Okay. Um, is there anything that I should check before we start this? What does um, uh, what does lightning bolt make him roll? Dexterity. Dexterity. That's his plus highest. Yeah. yeah, it's a plus seven. So he's he's gonna be really good at dodging that. Just FYI. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Um. I could. Uh. Let's see. That's my high. Like the most damage that isn't an AOE thing. Ma I could try magic missile as well. Or. Uh, that doesn't miss, right? Yeah. You or could... chromatic warp at level three. I could try that. So something from earlier is we we tried to see if there was something around the room aiding him, mm -hmm. um, but we haven't tried to see if he has like a specific like weakness on him. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could check for that kind of a thing maybe. I mean, it's oh. worth a shot. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'll check if he's got a weakness of some sort with Arcana. I have no information to give with that roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Chromatic Shrugs. orb. Um, is there any? So we we basically between like acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison, or thunder. It doesn't really matter at this point based on nothing what matters. Mean. Something to keep in mind is that magic missiles you don't have to roll to hit, so oh. you will one hundred percent hit with magic missiles. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's nice. Okay. And he won't be immune to any of it. Alrighty. Um, so at this point, I want to do like as much damage as possible. Should I cast that at level three or? I yeah, Not I would. Idea. Okay. Um. All right. Let's do that then. Okay. 
Uh, oh, how many do I roll a level 3? It's, um... Cast a spell a second or five creatures. Five? Five dirt? Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, uh, five. All right, let's count it up. Uh, we've got three, eight, 13, 13, uh, 16, and 19. And then the the, la the last one. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's six. All right, if you're casting. Correct. The second, it, it's six missiles because it's level three. Three, four. No, it's five missiles. Okay, so yeah. Should what was the five. number? Yeah, I yeah. The so the last, last one. I think there the was like a lag extra. Yeah, no it's worries. Um, so let me count again. Six, 11, 16. 19 points of damage total, and he takes the full amount because his resistances have yes. been Whew. dropped. All right. Okay, and then... Um... I have a feeling that we should probably have more health than those revenge stats does on us when we get all rid of his souls. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm worried that once his souls are gone, that's when stuff is going to start activating. So yeah, I yeah, agree. I agree with that. I'll drink um, a pot on my turn. Okay. I'm wondering if I want want to try to move or anything like that. Is if I move here? Um, Did we establish that you're super tanky? <laughs> yeah, you have stupid high armor class, don't you? I'm a 17, I think. What the hell, man? <laughs> the problem is that we're both spellcasters and like being close while casting spells is not super great. Yeah. Um oh, let's see. I'm wondering if I want to stand behind Alis so that if need be I can heal him like sure. next turn. Um am I out of his melee range if I stand there like right here? Wouldn't be a terrible idea for Luna to be in melee range. Um, no, it would actually help us because it would. Yeah, up then we yeah. would each take one hit. Okay. As opposed to someone of us taking two. Yeah. And with your okay. high armor class, there's a good chance that you should be able to survive it. Yeah, and you can still touch and heal. Actually, if you stood right in front of him, you could touch and heal anyone. Oh, okay. Okay. That's sure. true. Um, yeah, okay, I guess I'll move there. The only thing I want to make sure is that I can stay alive to heal people if need be. Um, but yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Okay. Got more health than Hunter does, so you're fine. <laughs> Alice. Sure, what the fuck? You're yeah. a sorcerer. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what is this? It is now your turn, Alis. Um, glug glug, motherfucker. It's a uh, 3d8. Correct. 3d8. 13. Tight. All right, you heal for 13 health. Okay. Um, and that's a bonus action, yeah? Uh, correct. And then uh, I'm going to do deadly coruscation again. Okay. Uh, roll d20. Oh, right, right, right. Spell attack. God damn it. Fuck shit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, 10 and... does not do it. Okay. <clears throat> Arm strong. Okay. Yeah, I so just I need to hit. I feel everybody now, right? Like, even diagonal people? Okay, great. Yeah, it's five feet. Could I see if he has any weaknesses? You can. Sailing check, please. Yeah! Hey! hey. Oh. He is not vulnerable Sorry, to it. anything. What a punk! That's a oh. critical miss. All right, well, 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 bonus action, bonus action. Where is it? The 13 will miss. God, okay. I 
tried. Leighton. All right, time to go in. Oh, yeah. For real, go in. Uh, you're clicking damage, just so you know. You have to go to the... Uh, oh, my bad. You're good. Uh, 20 hits. Oh, baby. 21 oh, hits. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll the damage to the 20 and the 21 oh, yeah. first before anything else. That's a good shit. <laughs> 14. And then, and then roll again. 12. Uh, yeah, you just begin as you just see yeah. dozens of reap souls leaving him. Man, if we can push him out of this phase before Where his next blows, turn. Bitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> click, Where blows, bitch? click the immortality so you're rolling damage for the sword. Don't click flurry of blows. Oh, fuck. I bet. Uh, that's okay. Click the immortality uh, so you know what you're doing there. Yeah. The damage. Uh, wait, so just do it again? Uh, just click the immortality. Yes. Uh, so we're rolling damage for the immortality. Nine. All right. And then you get oh, one more nearly. attack. What's that? You get one more attack with flurry, I believe, right? Two extra hits. You're right. I do because I'm fucking higher level. Oh, my God. Um. Yes! <laughs> Flur Flurry of Blows always adds two additional attacks, just so you know. Um, oh click on Mortality, see how much damage you do. Layton! Oh. Nice. Layton! All right. Yes! The Your battle. world champion has arrived, baby! Let's go! <laughs> the battle will now pause. <gasps> no more souls for you. <laughs> no more souls for you. Ah, hoo hoo. <laughs> You see the 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 war master fall to his knees as all his souls have left him. His barrier has protected him long enough. The souls that he has reaped are now free. Even if you weren't victorious this combat, know that at the very least you have freed all of the spirits that he has imprisoned. Hell yeah. Yay. He looks up to the four of you. <clears throat> What's your demeanor? I mean, your demeanor. What, what are you looking like right now? Miss. What's he looking at? <laughs> get it? Yeah, I get, get it. it. I get guys. it. I thought, you said that. I thought you said it. What's your face? What's your face looking like right now? Like, what kind of expression? Scowling, smirking, both weapons drawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cautious for sure. He shakes in anger. And he screams out. We had a deal, Deep One. And I want you to make good on that deal. You oh will lend God. me your yeah. power and you will do it now. I know you sent them here to try and back down. But the pact was made and I will fight to my dying breath. You're already dead, yo. Until I do not exist <laughs> no longer! <laughs> the room itself. Luna, please, he's having a room moment. Immediately <laughs> goes black. Oh. You hear the following. Oh my God. As the room Guys, we just got invaded. We just got invaded. re-illuminates to peering eyes staring down at you. Oh my god. Ugh. Uh. Phase two. <clears throat> this throne room has become a lair and thus will now take lair actions. Fucking weird. True. Lair, what are lair actions? The dungeon itself will attack you. Okay. You can give me one moment to set up. A lair always has an initiative of 20. Okay. Uh, I just, I have to re-roll again, unfortunately. Uh, okay, I'll move that to that lair. Even though I rolled a one, the initiative count is always at 20. 
Okay. So, so it goes after me. Correct. Um, the following will also happen. I will link this information. Uh, sorry, one second. Come on, roll 20. All right. So the following the following happens. I uh, had information up, but apparently roll 20 closed it, so I can't <clears throat> load it up for whatever reason. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. Perfect. The deal has been made. Immediately when the Warm Master's temporary hit points drop to zero, he'll command the Deep One to fulfill its end of their bargain made, giving him more power to hold his throne. At this point, a Harbinger of the Deep One will appear, adding layer actions to the counter at Initiative 20. The Warm Master restores 20 hit points, which he's already at max health, and regains any lost or resi uh, lost resistances or immunities. So he's regained his immunity and okay. his resistances again. <clears throat> it is still... Well, actually, no, it's no longer your turn, Layton, unless you decide to move. What do you do? My turn? Well, you've already done your action and your bonus action. You still have a move action if you wish to move, but it is up to you. Um, I mean, technically speaking, because Flurry of Blows hit, uh, I can disengage for free if you wish to do so. But or via drunken technique. Uh, um, if you disengage, then it'll we'll lay everyone else open. So I'm gonna stay. Yeah. We have to assume he's wielding the same weapon, and that hitting, dividing it between everyone was a, a feature of the weapon. Yeah. That he will continue to attack as we understand. Him I, to attack I haven't done. I haven't done my. I haven't done my inside check this round. Did I? No, I did my sailing check. Never mind. You did, yeah. Is it possible for like the spellcasters to like, um, oh, attack of opportunity? I'm just wondering how. I have an idea for that, Laura. When it's your turn. Okay. Layton. I think that's the end of my turn. There's not much I can do except run, and I'm not going to run because it'll ruin the team's dynamics. So no. All right. <clears throat> it will attack. Once again, with the multi attack, uh, everyone no, actually no, it is evenly divided against everyone. So Layton, uh, twenty five to hit, Armstrong, nineteen to hit, wow. Luna, twelve to hit, it's a miss, oh, come and on, please. the boy Alis, nineteen to hit. Uh, is rolling I will put, I'll put up shield, so I negate it. Okay. Hey. All right, let me just go ahead and do 1d8 plus 4. Actually, it's that plus. That's fine. All right, here we go. To Layton. Nine points of damage, four of it being fire. To Armstrong. 11 points of damage, six of it being fire. Dodge. Thank you. <laughs> so you take, you take five instead. And to Alice, ten points of damage. No, I don't take any. Oh, you don't take anything. My my apologies. That's all good. Uh, nine points to Armstrong. Five points to Layton. Luna, it is now your turn. Okay. Um. The lair will go between Alice and Armstrong's turn. Um, Captain, you said you had an idea for how I should go. Hi. I don't know how I explain this in character, but... <laughs> okay. So, since we all need to stay in melee range, but you get disadvantage when... Um, As a spellcaster. Yeah, when you're in melee range. But you're like the tankiest person here. And most creatures only get one reaction per round. So if you just back up a square, let him do his opportunity attack, which probably won't be that bad... And then, you know, do whatever, lightning bolt, magic missile, and then just step and right back, back in. in. Yeah. Then then uh, he won't get an opportunity to attack against Alice. 
and we'll That's all be true. in melee range. Then I'll be able to back up again, attack, and then move, scooch back in again as well. Yep. Okay, I can try that. So should I just do one square? Yeah, whatever. As long yeah. as you can move back and and as long as you can step back and then move back in within your thirty foot range, then yeah. Um, the other thing I was wondering, so he has resistances again, so should I yeah. not really be going all out? The other thing, um, like I could just do like a cantrip or something so as to not. Well, leave. so he, here's the deal: could, every time, uh, every time the layer gets to go, uh, the layer, which is which is uh, as twenty, so basically. After it's me. between it's after yeah it's after Alis, and then there's Armstrong and myself and then it's the and then it's um, uh, the War Master's turn, uh, then it's your turn. So we have like basically three attacks to get him down. Otherwise, the layer is going to heal him for twenty and return any resistances that he's lost. Well, just so, so you know, uh, that is only an action that happened at the beginning of this new. He healed for twenty, and he regained his resistances. That does not necessarily mean that's what the lair does every round. Yeah, we I should be well, making checks on what the lair does. Because we don't I know. I see. So, so it, the it, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was every time. If he healed us every time, then I think that we couldn't win it, maybe. Because that would That'd be, be crazy. Um, I could do an arcana check first to see what the lair does. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. A 15 will not be able to give you any information at this time. Okay. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll do the backup thing. Okay. Did I do that right? Okay. Go ahead, attack the... <laughs> do your attack of opportunity. He will slash up at you for a 20, which I believe hits your armor yes. class. Dealing 12 points of damage, one of oh. that being fire. These rolls are insane. My gosh. Okay. Um. So I go to thirty-eight. Imagine if we had stayed out of melee range for longer, and he just kept <laughs> yeah. adding to his damage bonus. That would have been insane. Oh, we, we would have been dead by now. He hasn't um, rolled below a ten to hit like, like maybe once. Okay. Um. Oh man. Um, I'm just trying to think how to save the higher slots for healing if they're needed. Um, I'll, I'll do I'll do a ray of frost because that doesn't hit anyone else. Okay. Uh, 23 hits. You deal 10 points of cold. Um, which he is resistant, and now it is only five points. It takes five okay. points of damage. Okay, um, and then I guess I move back into range again? Mm hmm Do we have to... Do we have what? to hit the lair, or is the lair just omnipresent? The, the lair is omnipresent. You don't attack the lair. Gotcha. It's just additional things are going to be happening in this combat now. Hmm. Lair actions right. suggest that you are in the presence of someone extremely powerful because they are able to manipulate their surroundings in such a way. I'm also gotcha. wondering when this engine's number is going to go off. Luna, does that end your round? Yeah. Alice. Well, yeah, I'll make sure. The lair no. goes after Alice. The lair goes I, on 20. The lair goes oh, on 20. Oh, 20. My bad. My bad. Sorry, everyone. No, you're good. Um. I would like to make a check to see what the lair is going to do. Okay. Nope. Just kidding. I would not like to do that. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and give us a, a bit extra something something. I'm going to back up and do frostbite and try to give him disadvantage. Okay. On his next attack. Okay. Um, where are you? There you are. Uh, constitution save? Yeah, 15. Alright. He fails. Oh, Seven. Shit. He takes uh, three points of damage. Uh, and his next attack is at a disadvantage. Yes. Alright. And then I will uh, move back in. Alright, does that end your round? And that... 
is all I can do, yes. The lair goes. As you see the eyes peering at you, the Deep One offers his power, as promised, doing his first and probably most powerful attack. Oh, come on. Final moments. Oh my god. A tendril of horror appears for 20 feet from the target creature who has dealt the most damage this combat, in which no! case that would be Luna. And is currently not in melee with the Warmaster. So, you see what apparently is this vision at this point of like darkness begins to swirl around as a tendril appears. Because you are in melee, it will wait until Luna departs. Departs oh, from melee or departs from life? Departs from melee. <laughs> What is that? A tendril okay. of horror. Uh, Armstrong, it is now your turn. So Luna, as long as you don't leave, it's not going to get you. Okay. Yeah, and you know what? I can be the person to... Well... Uh. <laughs> I mean, if he stops rolling 13s and higher on his d20... Sure. Sure, yeah. If he could just... You know, think of us a little bit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, I have more to hit than him, and I've been missing more than him. Um, all right. Well, first things first. Let's let's go ahead with the old rapier. Does a twenty-one hit, Brett? A uh, twenty-one hits. All right, I'm putting sneak attack on that. So Let me make sure I can still sneak attack, but I'm pretty sure. Yes, ally within five feet of target. Yes. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. 13 oh. points of damage. God damn it. It could have been more. It's fine. <laughs> oh, God. You know what we should have done? You know what? Uh, it's too late now. Okay. We should have held. You should have held your attack until Layton took down his immunities. Oh, that's oh, right. Man. Uh, um, okay. What else are you doing? Think, you have well, another sword. Yeah, I do. I do. It just doesn't do that much damage. Just wondering if something else would be a better bonus action. Like, no, whatever. I'll just I'll attack with my other sword. Brett, do, damage, I guess. Yeah, Brett. Do we know if he's um, immune to non-magical attacks? Um, have you used a non-magical weapon against him? I don't know. I don't believe you, you. You haven't seen anything that that has that where you you haven't seen anything that shows immunity. Is what I will say. Oh yeah. Okay. I'll just go in with the normal rapier because it's a little more damage than the howl blade. Mm -hmm. That two. hits. Sorry, was, did that work? Yep, that hurt, works for three points of damage. Yeah. All right, does that end your round? Oh, you know what? Uh, could I do a sailing check to... Can I see what the red bar means? Uh, that was already answered. It is a bar of vengeance. Oh, right. But it does, so though. If mine is at 18, does that mean at some point I'm going to take 18 damage and it'll just keep getting higher the more damage I do? I do not have an answer for you at this time. We don't know yet. I wonder how we can reset that. We don't can know we what it's... Uh, Hunter, why don't we check the status of the lair? Like, how do we... with this next attack, or...? Yeah, I don't think there's much we can do about the lair. But yeah, right. But we can at least see what what its next attack is, or cause we we yeah. tried to see what it's, what's up next. And that's been the hardest thing. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. Let's see what I can find out about the layer. Okay. All right. Okay. Does that end your round? God, why are yeah. our checks so bad? 
Um, all right. It's Layton's turn now, I believe. I want to roll a check on to see what that layer is going to do. Okay. No. Nope. Oh. All right. Because yeah. here's my fear, guys. I use a soul to debuff him, right? The next turn he heals, he gets his health and the buff is gone. Oh, he doesn't. If, he, but if he might though, is the thing is that he has oh. the ability to heal the uh, the war master. Do we know that? Oh, we can't assume that that will happen. If it doesn't happen, then fuck it. I'm gonna use my 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 debuff soul right now mm -hmm. on debuffing this bastard. So there you go, Brett. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I was waiting for a roll. Uh, yep, his resistances once again are removed. You spend a soul to do so. And I believe. Um, uh. You have a bonus action remaining. I do have a bonus action, but it's not much this time. Um. I. Let's see, how many souls do I have left? You gained 25, you had 14, you went down to, I believe, 11, correct? Yeah, so 11 plus... 25, you're at 36 souls. Well, now 36. you're at 34, now you're at 34, 34. because there's two souls. Okay, um, can I multi-target heal with the souls? No, you cannot. You can only single okay. target, but you can empower with the number of souls. Gotcha, that'd be fucked up, you're right. <laughs> oh, but the bonus action for, is for me, right? Or is it for anyone? Uh, you can use a bonus action to heal with the sword. At, at a range up to 30 feet. To anyone. Okay. Up to, as long uh, as they're within 30 feet. Okay. I'm going to use two souls to heal. Uh, what, each soul is what? 1d6? 1d8. 1d8. Okay. I'm going to use two souls to heal Hunter. All right. Roll 2d8. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> what a bummer. I appreciate it. The lowest glow. It's all right. The resistances are dropped. It was a good yeah. round. All right. The War Master will move up five feet, provoking no, attacks no, of opportunity no. from Luna and Alis. If they do wish to spend their reactions now. Wait, what about us? Uh, they are still, he's, he's still, still within in your range. attack range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I think just to, like, now that we're not in melee range of him, so this tendril of horror thing, it, it will looks immediately like it... react after your attack of opportunities. Oh my gosh. I need to... So it, it drops my HP to one. Well, hold and then on. I... Hold, hold on. Hold on. First, ta uh, you have reactions. Uh, are you guys taking an attack of opportunities? Um, I'm not even sure how I would do an attack of opportunity. Okay. Well, what is... What, what can we do for attack of opportunity? If, you, you, have a, what, if you have well, a if you weapon. If you have just a normal yeah. weapon. Yes. But I do not. So, um, if you also have the feet, Warcaster, but I don't think you got either of you have that. You can use the cantrip as a attack of off. Can um, we move? Off? No, you cannot. <laughs> it is an attack. Do you attack <gasps> as a reaction? I can lightning lure him back into range. Is, oh. it, it, is it a reaction? It's instantaneous. Is it a reaction for casting time? I don't know what that means. Okay, we will look up lightning lore. <laughs> lightning lore. Lightning lore? Yes, has a casting time of one action, so you cannot use this as a reaction. Is that like a dagger or something? Featherfall, for example, is a reaction cast. Oh. It's cool. Okay. Um, hmm. I, okay, well, I do have daggers, so I could do that. I just am wondering if, because I was reading about the tendril thing, and that looks like 
really bad news bearer, so I'm just Correct. wondering if there's anything I should do to try to... Uh... Um... Uh, I, okay, okay. Uh, I could use two sorcery points to... Um, that turns to it into a bonus action, not a reaction. Reaction, okay. Yeah, reactions are, um, are actions that you can take outside of your turn order. Okay. I have I have that weird snake staff. I didn't attune to it, but could I bop him with it? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> okay. Wh what what should I type in to uh, roll one d twenty plus? What's your strength modifier? Uh, probably bad. Minus one. Okay. Uh, so let me check to see if a quarter one. staff is a finesse weapon. I don't think it is. Uh, it is a simple staff. It's versatile. It is not finesse. So it'd be for you 1d uh, 20 plus 2 to hit. That misses. And Luna? Um, I guess I'll do the dagger. Okay. Roll, uh, roll a 1d 20 plus. What's your dex modifier? Uh, it is plus four. Okay, uh, so 1d20, I think that's a plus seven to hit. Okay, what, 1d20 Unless plus... you have it equipped on your, your character sheet, which you might. Let me see. Oh, I can't uh, click on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's equipped on you, so you go to uh, a dagger, you go to hit slash DC, and then press the red die. Uh... Dagger. Oh, okay. Hmm? Hit the team. 17 hits. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes. Do I have to click the um, dagger? Next? Yes, you do. I in, have two in, daggers. In Does that 20. mean I can both of them like if, stab if, if you, you, you can, as a bonus action, you can attack if you have both daggers in, in both hands. But right okay. now, you're only attacking once. Okay. Uh, you deal three points of piercing damage. No, she does seven. Well, seven. Resistance oh, is removed. Oh, my, 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 gone, apologies. my, my apologies. My apologies. My apologies. <laughs> he jumped on your shit. So. Sorry. I'm very... Look, I, I did nothing last understand. turn. The one I, thing I, I did was take away his resistances. You're right. That was that was my oversight. I apologize. <laughs> okay. So with that, the tendril... Oh, huh? What? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, I'm just... This is scary. So the following <laughs> happens... Um, the target creature, which in this case is Luna, must succeed at a constitution saving throw. Um, as you see this weird, scary, forbidden dark lore of magic begin to infuse in you. Please make a constitution saving throw, Luna. Come on, Luna. Constitution. Got this. Searching. Come on. It should Roll be in a hot. save box in the upper left corner. Save box. Okay, there we go. Okay, come on. You yes! succeed. Holy shit! You succeed. Oh Nothing happens. However, you do not oh. gain any immunity to this effect on future failed saves. This tentacle oh. is now attuned to you. And Tune. every and every lair action, it will attempt to do the same. Unless it is Maybe killed. It has we, have to kill, HP, we have to kill it. So we can just kill it. We have to kill it before uh, at the end, before Aelus's end, end turn. The the other thing I, I should note is I my my damage bar is getting pretty high. It's at twenty one right now. Um so I don't know if he can do some like attack and then vengeance, but he moves it's back in. Sorry, it might me, wipe me out. Me, I'm not uh, sure. Wait, he moves back in. Does that mean that Alice and no. Luna can attack again? No. You can move into somebody's attack range without it's if you tried to get away from them. That's when they get to attack. All right. Here we go. Um, the War Master will first attack. Four attacks. Uh, first, Layton with an 18. Does an 18 break your armor class, Layton? It does. Armstrong with a 14. Ha! All right. Wait, I didn't have a bone. Or, oh, wait. Never mind. Sorry. Excuse me. You're good. <laughs> Luna with a 10, which is also a miss. Doesn't hit. And Aelis oh, with a 19. God damn it. Gross. All right. Um, hmm? Yeah, okay. Shield him? Shield him? No? 
No, because okay. it uses a spell slot every time. I'll just take it. All right, Leighton. You take nine points of damage, three of it being fire. And uh, Alice. Ten points of damage, one of it being fire. Okay. Is there a reason you say one of it being fire, three of it being fire? Is that like a hint? Uh, it is in case you have any like resistance to fire or you've got a weakness to fire or anything like that. So that way that that dam part of the damage may uh, may modif may be modified if you have those. But currently everyone doesn't have anything with fire. But if, if that is to change, I always like to let you know what the damage sources are. Uh, okay, Luna, it is now your turn. I just remembered something too. I did an ice thing earlier, which means I could have added my charisma modifier because of the Taconic thing. Uh, it automatically already added it, so you're good. Oh. Um, uh, however, I also remembered because of the frostbite, I must roll another attack roll because he may have missed against Layton. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. He would have oh, missed against yeah. Layton. So oh. Layton, yes. you do not get hit for the nine damage. Oh, I don't? Nope. Add he, nine he, back, baby. The frostbite made it so that he missed. Uh, yes. So now, Luna, ah. it is your turn. So, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I could drink a potion as a as, bonus action? Correct. Okay. Um, I'm not low in health, but I'm seeing that 21 on there, and it's going to get higher after what I'm about to do, and it might be close to my full HP, so I'm like, okay, I, I don't know if I should heal up. Um, I think uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I try the Arcana check to see if the room can do any, what the room can do. Okay. All right, go ahead and do that. I'm also looking at something real quick. Uh, 13? 13, to, 13 will not give you any information. Oh, well, you my. know what he... 19, oh, sorry, sorry, one, one uh. second. I apologize. Well, oh, we got 12. Something might've actually changed here, 26. I totally, in, in, in my excitement, 35, 45, 44, 22. Um, so the actually, the highest one is actually Layton oh. because of his giant immortal flurry that he did recently. I will not, oh. so the tentacle will actually be over here. Um, shoot. Oh, I really just goofed this up. All right, it's fine. Um, can he use my my role, and we'll just pretend? Well, that it yeah, was him? yeah, that that's essentially what I was thinking. We'll we'll be able to we'll we, we can go oh, ahead. Oh, am do I that. the one that the tentacles after for now? Yes, the tentacles are going after you because you've done the most damage because of your immortal flurry that knocked him down before. Does it keep I... changing on who had the most damage? No, or? no, no, it doesn't. That's what it was originally, and that was my mistake. So my apologies about that. I feel like I'm making a lot of mistakes this fight. So I do apologize about that. I'll try to be more There's focused. There's a lot to keep track of. You're yeah. doing great, Brett. You're a great man. Thank you for DMing us. Thank you. I just, that's all I want to hear. Uh, so Luna, you're good. Uh, the tentacle tried to go after you, Armstrong, uh, Layton, but you, we will say you succeeded. Uh, Yay. But Luna, your um, turn. Okay, so I wanted to do the Arcana check on the room. Yes, you rolled a 13. That will not give you any results at this time. So Leighton brought it to my attention that Lightning Bolt doesn't have disadvantage in melee because it doesn't make an attack roll. That so is correct. I think I'm going to try and Lightning Bolt again. So, wow. Okay, yeah, feel free. <laughs> uh, I will make a dexterity saving throw. Come on. 30. Yes. Come on. No! Oh, let's go! He will deal oh 30 points of damage, or three points of damage will be dealt to him. Oh, yes, tasty. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, Luna. Mwah. Oh, I kiss you. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> so that 36. Out of character. Ailis did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> God, you just get some ankles and then you just get bold. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, all right. Um, and I think that for my bonus thing, I should probably try to be at as much health as I can since I, that 36 number will probably kill me in a hit if that goes off. So maybe I should do a potion for a bonus action. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's... Um, 3d8, is that what I roll? Correct. Okay. 
feels like a, a waste, but I don't know when that stuff is going to go off. Okay. For 12 points. Literally exactly enough. You are at max health. Okay. Oh. And unless you decide to move, which I'm assuming you're not. Um, I should stay, right? Is that the plan? Yes. It's yeah. up to you. Okay. I would and I would never want to tell you how to play your character. <laughs> um Hey hey dudes. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna attack uh, this thing. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, would you <laughs> mind <laughs> just uh... I figured you might be like, hey <laughs> ranged boy, could you do something about that? Um, <laughs> I would like to have we have we Brett have we hmm. tried to make a check to see what these red bars do and it just hasn't happened or have we been given I all checked the information? It. I checked it. I, ch I successfully checked what the red bars stand for but we still don't know what they do. Okay. Is there anything else that I could learn about them Brett or no? Um, no. I would say. All it is is okay. your, the bar links to certain effects that may happen during the fight. Okay, then I will try to determine uh, if there's anything else that the lair plans on doing, I guess. Okay. You could also check it, the thing's health in case you don't kill it. It's 20. It says in oh, the tooltip. Oh, my bad. In that case, do it's, you think? Uh, yeah, 20 HP, 10 AC, plus 2 to all saving throws. Um, okay. A 20. Oh. Please, Brett. The lair... Uh, I can all, all I can tell you is the lair has a variety of things that it can do up to 10 rounds uh, at its 11th round and beyond it just begins to onslaught everybody with damage okay hmm. okay so we have to kill this thing in, in, uh, in 10 we have to kill it rounds. in 10 rounds yep Which we're on round one still right right about to be round two Correct. it's about yeah. to be round two yeah and so Let's get groovy jiggy with it, right? Groovy jiggy with it. Let's, Let's do it. Let's get groovy jiggy. Okay, I'm going to Eldritch Blast this thing. Okay. Come on, big damage, big damage. Big damage, big damage. That hits. For uh, seven points of damage. But it's twice, yeah? Or, Correct. oh, you, I... You roll twice. You're doing two blasts. Okay, great. <laughs> And nine points of damage. Nine. It's still standing. Okay. Um, and that is not damage that I can do an AOE with. Uh, let's see. I would like to use Quickened. So okay. I'm gonna use two sorcery points, and um, what should I hit it with? Wait, what's the range on this? Hold on, sorry. Ten feet. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm going to uh level. It's let's see, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I need four more damage to kill it, ideally. Magic missiles will automatically hit. Um, I'm gonna do a level two magic missile, and I would like to direct two at this okay. and two at him. Okay. Please. All right. Just We just need so. four damage on the tendril. Well, let's see if I do some weird shit first. <laughs> oh, shit. Little boy magic. An uh, eight. eight. Spell is I... normal. Yeah, oh, spell is normal. I think from okay. six to 15, I want to say. Yep. So you're good. Normal spell, baby. Roll that so. damage. One. That's three points. So one. whatever that, uh, yeah, that one destroys the tendrils, it fades back into yes. the shadows. Good, good, good. And then... Is Eldritch Blast a cantrip? Wait, what are you doing? What's happening here? Eldritch Blast is a cantrip, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, you got you got two more missiles. 
I know, I keep trying to roll them and it's not letting me. Hold on, I'm gonna try down here. Okay, there okay. it is. Uh, two and okay. four more cool. points of damage. Cool. Okay, sick. All right. uh, that's my turn. Please. All right, the lair goes again. The following happens. Return to the deep. The lair begins to shake as water begins pouring into the entire throne. The water fills up to your ankles with no effect. But at round five, it'll fill up to your waist and everyone's speed will be halved. At round okay. eight, water's gonna fill up to half the room, giving everyone a swim speed. Uh, any fire or lightning spells that's not cast above the water uh, will have alternate effects. And at round 11, the water fills up the entire room. You can hold your breath for one plus constitution modifier until you drown. We can breathe underwater, Brett. It's fine. Dab. <laughs> True. <laughs> You didn't think I wasn't aware of that? <laughs> <laughs> Just reminding everybody that that was really clutch that I cast uh, that before we yeah. left. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Armstrong. You know the drill. That's a crit. <laughs> yes, baby. Ooh, feels good. For 19 oh plus 21 points of damage, 40 points Holy of damage. Are you like that? Oh my shit. Be during your oh. turn, the following happens. He drops wow. to his knees again. A, a, a spectral cough happens. At that point, you see the eyes illuminate. The deep one acknowledges the bargain and acknowledges it must assist the war master in any way possible, oh if it God. is unable to fight, then it will lend a helping hand. Oh no. As dark powers begin to form, I will say at this point, because you're in the middle of combat, um, Leighton, you get shoved back. As the War Master is no longer in control of his own facilities. Ugh. His own faculties, excuse me. One of these, one of these fancy words. <laughs> As he transforms into a beast, you realize at this point in time that a deal meant that a deal made with a deep one will sometimes have unintended consequences. Oh God, I knew it. Uh, the parent. <laughs> what the fuck? Do we still have our red bars? Like yes, you do. The oh. fight, the fight hasn't ended yet. He's <clears throat> three. Come on, man. It's like it's a final battle or something. <laughs> what about its health? It still maintains its health. Oh. Okay. The following. Probably just happens. hits like a truck now. The broken. Immediately when the War Master reaches below 50 health, the Deep One will once again grant him a boon of power. This time it will transform the War Master into an abomination of the Deep, losing control of all, all his faculties, becoming a puppet of the Deep One. It loses its ability to use Spectre Saber and multi-attack, and its speed drops to 20 feet, but it also gains additional attacks. Abomination of the Deep regains 20 hit points, and regains any lost resistances or immunities. Okay. Uh, so he's now at 57 health. His resistances are back. This is the final fight. The final okay. phase. No more tricks up my sleeve when it comes to phase fours or phase fives. Oh, I wish gosh. you the best of luck because this will be the most difficult one. Armstrong, okay. I believe you are next. You still have a bonus action and a move. Sure do. Might as well hit him with the other sword. That is a miss. Okay. Um, uh, mm. oh. I have this hunch because he is slow. The strategy may be to stay away, but I'm not sure. Do I want to sit here and find out what this thing does in melee range? 
We know its abilities are different, and we know that it can't chase us as far as we can run away. Yeah. But it does have tendrils, so it's probably ranged. Um, I would say if if you want to get out of there, get out of there. <clears throat> I have a move um, called Thunder Step, so if Armstrong and Leighton both left the area, I could bring Alice with me away from the area. Oh. And- it just says, you teleport yourself to an unoccupied space it, you can see within range. Immediately after you disappear, um, each creature within 10 feet uh, has to make a con save or take 3d10 um, or half. And then you can bring along um, objects. Uh, you can also teleport one willing creature of your size. I was going to say, I am not an object. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but you do I have a creature a man. on you. Look at my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my big hat. <laughs> I've grown. Also, uh, one second. Uh, continue, anyways. Keep talking. My apologies. Uh, I'm gonna uh, be yeah. rolling initiative for this guy, uh, but don't. It's not an additional n- initiative. It's just it's oh, ten yeah, that it had before. New where he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no worries there. So it says um, you can also. But yeah, you should totally take me with you. That sounds great. <laughs> Okay, so if you want me to do that damage, thing, I can exchange the sorcery points to do that. So, but only if the other two are out of the way, because it does a lot of damage where we leave. That's my gut, and I'm gonna get the hell away from him. It uses oh, yeah. a reaction to do the following. Uh, well, hold on, I've got. Um, well, I've wait got, a minute, Mister Dungeon I've got, Master. I've got yeah. that there. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, that there fancy footwork. If I make a melee attack, he can't make opportunity attacks against me for the rest of my turn. Then he will not do that. And instead, oh eat Alice. Oh, nom, 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 nom. No! This is your fault. Oh, yeah. no. oh my god. <laughs> I have a scrum on my head. It should give me protection. I think. Also, pending that I live and that he doesn't blow up the red shield. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, is that your turn, Armstrong? All right. Leighton, resistances are back. It is your turn. Oh, fuck. Okay. Get rid of that. Um. Please. We gotta kill this thing quick, so we need the resistances gone. I know it's not right. fun to use your turn to do that, but... I don't mind it, it's just that I won't have a... I mean, I... I just don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. Can you uh, move as a bonus action? As a bonus action, you can spend a key point to disengage. I can. Ooh. I can use my... Uh, uh, what is it called? My patience defense. Patient defense, which will get me out of there, no problem. Um, all right, Brett, I'm going to use uh, a soul to remove his resistances. His resistance are removed. Great. Bella, bella. And I'm going to spend uh, my key point to get me out of here. Okay. You can move up to your speed. Uh, I mean, I don't know how, like, how far away should I move? Does it matter? I mean, I guess I'll go here. Um, is that where you move? Yeah. Does that end your round? Um. Well, you did a bonus, you did a standard, you moved, so I I think that's... Can I investigate, can I investigate this thing for... Um, how Cthulhu it is? Sure. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to need you to be more specific, please. I mean, I have the ability to control a Cthulhu type Kraken type thing. Mm-hmm. Well, you know you have the ability to, but you don't have you have the potential yeah, but it, to, it, but you don't know how. I could, I could at least try. You can make so. So, what are you doing? Making a sailing check to try and figure out if you can control it? Is that what you're trying to figure out? Yeah, because because the the deep one's controlling it. But if I can control it, because I have immortality, which is a product of the deep one, Mm -hmm. you can make a sailing check to see if you have the potential to do that. I mean, I feel you've had a nat twenty. You're gonna say no. Twenty (gasps) four. Nearly a nat twenty. You do not have the ability to control this creature. 
fuck, what a waste. Okay. But now you know. Um, okay. Wait, he goes be okay. And now <laughs> Bring and, it, and now Let's it's time go. to activate the Act 3 ability where Gerard <laughs> is going to hate me. At the beginning what? of the Abomination of Deep's turn. It restores any lost resistances or immunities Ugh. it may have dropped. Ooh. So it has once again regained its resistance. Okay. As the power of the Deep One surges. What is that? Its turn? At the beginning of its turn. Oh, don't, don't pull this beginning bullshit. <laughs> and now it activates its uh, super move. It does every three rounds. Oh, boy. Brockesk Damnation. You remember this from when he flew over the lizard folk village and drained everyone's souls. You begin to see that again as spectral tendrils emerge from the warlord, attaching and impaling all targets within a 40 foot radius of him. Which would look something like. Let me just go ahead and. Man, get the... I could have gone further. I just went there because I didn't know where else to go. Looks like something like this. So okay. I need everyone to make a constitution saving throw or take 4d8 necrotic damage. Oh my god. Come on, baby. As you see, just tendrils lashing <sighs> everywhere. Yes, Armstrong yes. succeeds. Ayla succeeds. Yes. Luna succeeds. Yes. Oh. Uh, you say constitution saving throw? Correct. Yes. Come on, buddy. Yes. No, no damage <laughs> is dealt as the tendrils sink That's down. That's right. You are the true heroes of Krakask. You ain't shit. All right. Luna, it is now okay. your turn. Um, I are there any checks that we want to make? Uh. Um, I can't think of one right now. What turn are we on? Just two? Or? Uh, two rounds of lair action has been taken. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can't think of anything, to be honest. Is there something I could do to check how the red bar is going to go off? Like, is it? Let me know when I asked last time. Okay. Yeah, we keep, we keep asking about it, but nothing really happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, you, you've learned all the information that you can at this point. Okay. Um, uh, I, I feel like he probably doesn't have any weaknesses. Um, we just have to... It's It seems like every time I'm going to use... Well, can we check to see if every time I debuff him, he will recast that thing on himself? Yes. Uh, reinforced resistance at the beginning of the Abomination of the Deep's turn. It restores any lost resistance or immunities. I see. So That'll no matter what I do, every he's round. going to just do it. Yeah. Beyond what I'm about to do, we could um, possibly have people hold their throws until Leighton debuffs him, maybe, and then have it all go off at the same time. Does that work? That is a thing you can do, correct. I better get Alice and I out of here, though. The question is, like, how far do we want to go? Because I can go up to 90 feet. So we can do 30, we can do 60. Well, his AoE is 40, so if we... So but he, I think he, he, I think it said he only does it every three rounds. Is that correct, Brett? That is correct. Oh yeah, it's written on there. Yeah, so he's not going to do that for another couple of rounds. Uh -huh. um, but I figure, I don't know. As long as we are within range to do abilities, mm -hmm. to like fire our stuff off, we're good. So. Okay. Do you want to do sixty feet then? Is that enough for your spells, or fifty feet maybe? 60 is enough for my spells. Okay. All right. I we guess... just want to make sure that we're close to these boys. Okay. Okay. We can, um, we can try 45 then if we want to be out sure. of the range. Yeah. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. So I'm going, I'm not exactly sure how this works. I have to allocate, I'm going to allocate um, points over so I can do this spell here. I'm going to cast Thunder Step. Um, so. First, we'll teleport over to... I'm going to teleport here, and Alice will come with, so Alice can land next to me over here. Um, Meow. And then... Uh, oh, my. 
<laughs> Each creature within the, <laughs> within the 10 feet of the space that I left must make a constitution saving throw, taking 3d10 of thunder damage on a failed save or half as much. So I guess I'll roll uh, 3d10. Uh, there it is. All right, so it's 10 points of damage. Um, a, a constitution saving throw must be made. He succeeded. Oh. Okay, so I guess he takes half of that. Is, does it say half of that or half on, 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 a, on a failed? Yeah, it says, um, uh, or half as much on a success. Wait, huh? on, on a uh, on a fail, it sounds like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he will take two points of damage. Ugh, gross. Okay. <laughs> and I think, um, oh yeah, uh, the Arcana check that um, Leighton wanted me to do. Oh wait, no, he already figured that out. Um, I guess I want to check, does he have any way of healing himself? You can uh, check that with an Arcana. I'll allow it. Okay, 19. He has no way of healing himself. Let's see. Thank God. Thank God. Um, <laughs> all right, Good I guess question. that's turn then. All right, Alice. Fred, did you see my Discord message? Uh... It is a resource, so you gotcha, can't. Okay. You can't. Yeah, you don't. You don't have the ability to do that yet. But that's something that you can look at it in the future if you'd like. Gotcha. Um, guys, does the, does can the, we? Sorry, sorry, dude. Does the deep one get to go after Dodger's turn this time, or is it? Yep. The lair is still. There's still lair, lair actions. Oh, fudge. Oh, but the lair might be able to heal him. I didn't even think about that. Oh. I hate the lair. <laughs> lair sucks. It looks like, at least so far, the lair has set actions that it does each turn up to round 10, and then it starts pelting us. That is correct. Um, so whatever it's going to do on turn three, it was going to do regardless. Um, guys, so I could lightning bolt this guy. I am right at the right spot to do it. How are we feeling as a little boy with a little boy magic chart? How are we <laughs> feeling about me doing lightning bolt? Would you rather I did something safer or should we, should I take the chance so that we possibly do a shit ton of damage to this thing and get it killed quicker. He's got his resistance back um, huh? Can it be until Leighton disables him? It won't matter because in the next turn he will he'll just automatically cleanse himself. You are able, oh, to, no, but, you but, are able no, to hold but, actions. What, what, yeah, I, I could think. hold my lightning bolt action until you've taken down his resistance and then do max damage to him, assuming that he fails the check and assuming that I don't fuck it up and accidentally redirect it to one of you, which is why I'm asking all of you, how do you feel as a boy with a little boy magic chart about me doing a lightning <laughs> bolt? But he here's the reality. I, I can't, if I just keep using my main action to use the souls, one, we're out of souls and we're out of time to kill him. And two, that ineffectively removes me from doing any damage. And right now, Sorry. I can attack twice, um, up to four times a round. Right. So. Maybe we need to get back in melee range and just start hammering him. And just hammer it, yeah. Capture. I think so. Him up. Yeah. Just fight through the resistance. And just, yeah, just say fuck it. Okay. I um, say, I say if you're going to do big damage do it now and just hope little boy magic goes our way okay. the biscuit. risk it for the biscuit is the, the finale baby. baby okay all right dear deep one if you could help me out you gave me an eldritch blast type thing and i know that we're like fighting you right now or whatever but um if you could help me out so that 
Uh, my magic is super dope, nasty. That would be great. Amen. Oh, wow. Okay. Praying to the deep one. Five. That's, <laughs> that's a problem. Cool. Let's find out what that does, shall we? Uh, if a target needs to roll DC, they roll at advantage. Fuck. It's All not right. as bad as it could be, but... <laughs> the deep okay. one chorkles at you. Unreal. <laughs> Here we go. Well, it, it's as high as save anyway, so... Actually, wait a minute. Only 17? God damn, how did I... Oh my god, I rolled five ones in there. Jesus. Oh my god. That's insane. Here we go. 23. Uh, so okay. it deals eight, four points of damage. <laughs> well, at least it did some damage, right, guys? And I didn't hit any of my buddies. So you know what? I'm going to call right. it a I'm going to call that shit a win. Peace out. <laughs> That's A-list's turn. You know where to find me, Dabs. You guys, <laughs> you guys may, you may want to, are you guys out of range of the, of the deep ones hit? We should yes. be. All out right. Of, out of out of range of, of his like AOE thing, yeah. All right. Is that end your round? Yep, that's it. That's all I can do. Round three. Life unwelcomed. The deep one sees your lies and invites the city of the dead to wait, attempt wait, wait, to wait. claim your oh, life. My bad. Lie to him? The heroes must succeed on a DC 14 wisdom save. On a failure, your spiritual barrier is reduced by 2d6 or half as much on a successful roll. I okay. need everyone to roll now. Come on, guys. That's, that's a fail. That's a success. That's a fail. That's a fail. Oh, guys, no. It's not too bad. All right. So first of all, putting everything there, boom. We're rolling 2d6 and Alis will take half of that. You each lose five of your soul barrier. Alice, you will be losing two. Okay. It could be worse. Not it as, could be worse. Not as that bad. was not as bad as a tentacle. Mm -mm. All right, Armstrong, it is now your turn. All right, so our plan is go back in and just start stabbing. We gotta beat the shit out of this thing, thing. yeah. We gotta, we gotta just do our best. Well, before our red bars explode, we gotta just figure out. Like, <laughs> yeah, what do these things do? Fuck my life, dude. Do it from here. I'll just do it from here. I don't know. I like diagonal better. Okay. <laughs> 28. That's Let's a hit. Go. Oh, yeah. Pow. A four. 27, oh. 26, 13 points of damage. Oh. Still Let's pretty go. good. Let's go, Let's go. And... Why didn't that work? That does not hit. Oh, there it God, is. God, his hit range is... That sucks, man. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> okay. Okay. It's fine. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. What's the average for 3d8 uh, healing? Oh, I did a bonus action. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, I'm done. It is now latent strength. Let's see them strikes. That's a miss. That's a hit. Uh, do I click on it to roll for damage? Correct. For five points of damage. You're using flurry of blows. Is that correct? Yeah, I used it wrong, my bad. No worries. Uh, go ahead and make sure you're clicking Immortality twice instead of your Flurry of Blows. Yeah. That's a miss. And that is a miss. Oh. Sorry, guys, I tried. It's all good. We're just being hateful. <laughs> uh, oof, man, you guys it's are- It's fine, so... we've been rolling hot. We, we, gotta, we had to get some whiffs in there a uh, tendril will attack over here and it slams down to the ground in a 10 foot space so fortunately you're not next to anyone so only armstrong will get hit 
Tendril Slam. As a 19 hit, it is not an advantage, so we're taking the first number. Uh, yeah. Okay. It will deal. Only It is only one attack, but it is a big one. For 20 oh points God. of bludgeoning damage. I would like to take 10, please. I will <laughs> allow it. As you uncanny dodge. <laughs> Oh, the perfect, per the perfect person <laughs> to be hit, actually. Thank God. All right. Uh, Luna, it is now your turn. Oh, boy. Um, do I heal Aelis or do I hit the guy? I still, I still have a pot, so don't worry about me. Hit him. Go for damage. Go for damage. Yeah, go for damage. Go for damage. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, oh, I think oh. you... <laughs> um... Uh, let's do magic missile. Okay. Okay. Um, at level two, is that that's four magic correct. missiles? Correct. That is correct. One, two. Did Oof. it appear? Yep, I see two. Three. Two missiles so far. Okay. And one more. Perfect. Five, four. So it's nine, uh, 11, 13. Six points of damage. These resistances are a butt. It always feels like, yes, 13. Oh, six. <laughs> it is, uh, you know, it's a butt. All right. Alice. Or are you done with your turn, Luna? Um, I I think I, uh, the only thing I can think of is if we need to move, if he's going to move to do that dumb tendril thing and put us all in range. Uh, if he moves, we're going to fucking bop him. Oh, okay. That's if he true. moves to yeah. hit you guys to get that heat. Hunter and I get deeps on him. Yeah. So chances are he ain't gonna move. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm done. Alice. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bolt him again. Go big or go home, right? It's yeah. It. This is my last attempt at it, and we're trying to kill this thing quick, so roll a D twenty. Nothing happens. Well nothing happens uh -huh. and like nothing additional happens, yes. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Okay. All 27 right. damage if he fails. Let's see that. Well, deck, no, deck save. he still has resistance, but. All right. And the deck save says. He Let's fails. Go. Yes. Let's Ooh. go. And he takes 13 points of damage. Oh, All oh, right. Baby, let's go. Let's go. The following now happens. What? Oh, I was going to. You, you said those sleeves. Wait, I was going to do another thing. Well, before that, ah, never dying. Okay. Any damage dealt to the Abomination of the Deep when below 15 hit points only deals one hit point of damage instead. When the Abomination of the Deep would go first global 15, its health will remain at 14 until the next damage is taken. The Abomination of the Deep now speed drops to 10 feet as the Dark One's magics begin to infuse this into a po literal pile of war. Magic missiles, right? I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Wait, okay. So I'm, I always get confused about this. So I've done a level three spell. Correct. With, with Quickened, I can only do a cantrip. Correct. correct? Uh, okay. I'm going to use Quickened, mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to use it to cast Frostbite and try to give it disadvantage on one of those big hits again. Okay. Uh, DC 15. Uh, oh, I have to make the save. All right. Here we go. It succeeds. Oh. Okay. Set end your run. Yep, that's it. All right. The the lair now goes. Round four. Sated vengeance and what uh, Luna was fearing the most. The oh, deep God. one senses your lack of fighting spirit and stirs something violent within you. Your blood Why? heats up to a boil for a moment, inflicting internal wounds. Target creature who has the smallest vengeance score, in this case, will be Aelis. Shit, must me. make a constitution saving throw, DC 14, or be dealt their vengeance score in damage. Oh. Uh, and not the end of the world if you miss con it. Con save? Correct. You are fine. 15. You're good. Oh. Mm. 
And for those that are worried, yes, there is a deep one move where he will he will it will tar target the one with the most vengeance. So right. okay. be oh, on no. the lookout, Armstrong. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't heal anymore. Okay. So at this point, it's not about hitting hard; it's about hitting a lot because <laughs> right. it's always going to be for one HP. Not a oh, lot so I can do. Add to the vengeance stack anymore because rounding down. Is that true? Um, so every time with the vengeance stack, it's 50% rounded down, I've noticed. So if we're hitting for one every time, then 50, like 0.5 rounded down would be zero, right? So we can't add to our red bar. I cannot answer that question. Might be a minimum of one. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Um, okay, so um, if I hit with an attack, it's your magic missile one wand. damage, and if I hit with sneak attack, will that be another one damage? Uh, it is from the same source, so no. It'll round down to one uh, damage, even with sneak attack, because it's coming from the same source. <laughs> but two hits, uh, one and one, those are two different sources, so they each will deal one point. I'm wondering if there's anything besides just attacking that would be helpful. I could use the help action and give a, give Leighton advantage on his next just one attack, but I don't know if it's worth me not attacking. Either um, way, it'll be one HP, right? Just, so yeah. I'll just no matter what, it's one HP. You should just Hunter go. That yeah. Hits. Yes. Okay, Brett, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's it's only one hit point. I okay. apologize. <laughs> You don't want to. Oh, we don't even have to bother rolling damage, though. Hey, guys, little blessings. Uh, that also hits for one point of damage. Chip, 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 chip. Does that end your round? You want to um, heal yourself, Hunter? Uh, you know, I, I, I did, and then I took a bonus action. So maybe I will go away. <laughs> maybe I will flee. <laughs> I can do that for free. That is true. Okay, I'm here now. All right, Leighton. Miss. That's a hit. Okay. So that's one hit down, right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. I took one point of damage. Okay. Make sure you're keeping track of your key points for Flurry of Blows, if you are using I am. Flurry. Okay. I am. I got three left. I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm just checking something else real quick. Okay. Now, Hunter, or rather, uh, Brett. Mm -hmm. Brett. Brett, I can't talk. I'm scared. Uh, Brett. Um, <laughs> I want to use a key point for stunning strike again, so that if he fails the con save, he falls over and he skips a turn. He won't fall over. Um, he will be stunned, just so you know. He'll be stunned, right. Um, but according to my sheet here, it does not count as a bonus action because it's using a key point. So I still have a bonus action whether or not it succeeds or fails. Stunning strike. Is that correct? Let me give you the ruling on stunning strike. Because according to stunning strike, it does not say anything about bonus action. You can interfere the other with, uh, when you hit another creature with a melee weapon attack. You can spend one key point to attempt to turn it into a stunning strike. That is correct. You can add that in addition to whatever your My attack is. It's, it, it, so, so, so you can literally add it on this immortality attack right now. Correct. Correct. So I'm going to use stunning strike in an attempt to, to make sure that he stays down for at least a, a full round. Okay. Uh, let me make a... What's the DC? Const and I'll make a con save. Let's he, go! Let's yes, go! Stone he is stunned. Go, 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 go! Until the end of your next round. Correct. Oh and then God. I'm gonna use I'm gonna I'm gonna look this motherfucker in the eye <laughs> and just pour pour some health potion into my mouth, some fucking evil ass wine. As a bonus action? Okay, roll three yes. D8. Three D8? Correct. You 12. heal for twelve. Putting you at 55. Nice. Does that end your round? Um, I would, uh, 
Can I do any checks? Do we want to do any checks for anything? Anyone? Why he's such a bitch. I don't think we need to do any checks. Great. Unless you End can my turn. Something. Yeah, my turn. Uh, he's unable to perform anything during his turn. It is now Luna's turn. Hell yes. Okay, I guess let's do magic missile. Let's yeah. Do, uh, I'm going to do a couple of those. Okay, um, what level are you casting it at? You don't have to, you don't have to roll any damage. Uh, so the second level one, that means each one is one damage? Correct. Yeah, it, so would it would be four, four damage missiles. total. Four missiles. Okay, I'll yep. do that then. Okay. Okay. Uh, four so I... missiles. No, you're good. Four missiles are cast. And okay. uh, dealt. He is at seven health. Do you do anything else this round? Um. <laughs> uh, uh, I was wondering if that. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean. What's my red bar at? Your red bar is at 40. Oh, yes. Yes, I was right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I don't unless we need checks or anything we are just do you have any bonus no. actions you can do we're, we're just attacking man so um yeah if you want to quicken a thing and do like more damage and maybe we can kill this thing this round but um most i could do is use all my remaining sorcery points to do one damage Okay. <laughs> I think I should save the sorceries in case healing yeah. is necessary. Mm. Um, for distance, I think. Yeah. Unless you guys think one is clutch. Uh, save it just in case. Yeah. I would say. Does that okay, end your round? I'm... Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alice. Okay. I would like to uh, roll on little boy magic and then do some magic missiles, please. Uh, okay, roll a d20, please. That is a four. four. Minimum amount of spell damage. Oh, in this case, <laughs> it literally doesn't fucking matter. That's yes. actually incredible. Uh, okay, so, what spell are you casting it at? Uh, I am casting it at two, so it's four damage. Another four missiles go into hit. He's at three health. Yes. And then um, I would like to quicken and do uh, my Blast of the Deep one for two more damage, please. Uh, okay, you roll those at advantage. Shoot, then it would have made a difference. Because if she could do two... Yeah, but we didn't know that. Okay, that's true. Um, uh, where are you? Oh, there we go. You can also shift-click for advantage rolls. Well, that one hits. And then roll for the second attack. Uh, that one also hits, so two points of damage is now down to one life. The lair gets to act Layton. one more time. Oh, oh my god. The water oh, now don't... fills up to your waist. Everyone's speed is halved as the the uh throne oh, is filling shit. with water. Armstrong. Well, Armstrong, you can't get to him. Fuck. <laughs> I sure can if I dash. Oh. Right, Brett? Does that you work? Use your bonus action, but you have to get one hit. If you're using a cutting but action to no, bonus act, that's correct. I and then you have can... an idea. I'm going to swim up to Layton, and I'm going to use the help action. And I'm going to say... Oh yeah. Let Layton oh. get that last hit. Serve us up some calamari, Layton. Layton, I... attack at an advantage. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what what does this mean? What does this mean, uh, Brett? Shift, shift click or immortality, and you are rolling at advantage. Oh. The 15 misses. No! The 22 strikes true. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Before you do anything, I'm going to use my last key point. Just what? to, make, Just to make sure beat that we... at the body? Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's pirates. Well, before the key point is spent, the following will go off. Uh, as he, as you stab the sword deep within him, a dark energy seeps out of the wound. As the gurgling sound of the War Master, or what was formerly the War Master, howls out and cries into the darkness, it fades. The har harbinger 
of the Deep One stares at you all and also leaves as an elegant light fills the throne. <gasps> you are out of initiative order. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh Alice will drop to his knees. <laughs> Two treasures have been left behind in the corpse of the corpse wake of the War Master. You have re received the saber of the War Master, which is a weapon that deals fire damage. Um, and also has the ability for anyone that needs to make death saving throws to roll a disadvantage if used to brandish against someone. And the amulet of the War Master, which will provide you an attack roll and damage bonus on magical spells. Nice. And those will be added to your inventory shortly. What if do you... there's an escape sequence, I'm going to be really sad. Well, what do you do? <laughs> The deal do it? has been. Can we get rid of these gross red bars? No, we're just kidding. <laughs> uh oh. As you wish. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the red oh. bars will be removed. Thank you. Phew. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> I will let you know. You're free to say and do whatever you wish. Oh, but as part God. of the bargain, you are free to return. Oh, so we could go back anytime. Yeah. Right. Alice looks around. It's like, did we do it? Are we done? I, I believe so. Oh. How's Scrum doing? <laughs> Alice will look at her and go, oh, <laughs> like take the hat off <laughs> and look at him. Is he asleep or is he awake? <laughs> he still slumbers. Oh, what a oh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you didn't help me, you little pissant. <laughs> go put it back on. <laughs> Well, that was something. What do we do? How do we get back? Um, More importantly, are you going to just drop dead now? <laughs> to Armstrong. No, no, I've got to die uh, for some actual cause. He doesn't just get to kill me when this is all over. All right. All right, we tried to write a couple of clauses in the contract. He didn't have pen and didn't want to make a contract, so we had to do a blood contract. It was uh, pirate contract stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Says Gerard. <laughs> it was pirate contract stuff. Luna turns toward Aelis and she's like, I'm not familiar with, they never, I, I didn't, like, I'm, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Honestly, I'd just like to leave if that's Aye. on the table. Keep one. Get us the hell out of here. Hey, uh, War Master. Uh, Hail a... to the king. <laughs> <laughs> a deep portal opens up. Oh. It ripples with blue flame and dark magic. This is the least happening thing we've seen all day. Can I ask what these, now that Alice can actually look at them, what these are of? Mm -hmm. uh, make a, you can make a history check if you'd like. Nope. Two, I'm freaked out. Look, it's been a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not important enough. Let's go. <laughs> Is there anything on the floor, like a cool little ocean pebble or something that Luna can pick up as a souvenir? Um, you can pick up one of the bones. No, gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I will say there will be an obsidian pebble that you can pick up. 
from this Ooh. room as a memento. Okay, I'll take that then. It has emotional value, but not magical. Okay. And with that, what can do I, you do? Can I take a painting from the... Uh, from oh, the there are here? no uh, paintings in this room. Are there any, like, rubies in the eyes or gems on these, like, vein statues? I'm afraid not. Man. Can I take the statue? <laughs> you, it would not be able to fit in your inventory and your... You laugh, but I carried that one statue onto the boat, so... You did. That uh, but dude this dude-sized. This one's... That was normal-ass dude-sized. This one I'm also super strong. Thousands and thousands of pounds. Can I take this guy's sword? <laughs> just like looking to like try and figure out a something. Look, we just survived the end of the world. We're the heroes. I We're also pirates. Will, I will allow you to, if you wish, break off of his precious arm. It will be a, I would say, 300 pound stone sword. That Dick. is the size of 15 feet. Did we see any gems anywhere in this palace that we could, you know, harvest? You do not. Fucking pirates. Guys, <laughs> come on. God damn. Can we leave? Jesus. <laughs> Armstrong, look at this big sword I have. <laughs> I literally see a stone sword with two hands gripping the hilt that has been broken off of the statue. Didn't have we a big enough sword already. If you insist. Now I'm the going. ship will have a sword. <laughs> Luna jokingly is like, I don't know, there was some pretty books in the other room, Alice. <laughs> don't. I'll be thinking about them forever. Not even joking. He'll, he'll jump in as well. Uh, the portal rips you under. As for a brief moment, you feel as if you're underwater. Unable to breathe. Just kidding. I know you have water breathing. <laughs> you all begin to head into a sort of restful slumber as you are taken back to the city of, of Crushert. All but one. Armstrong. You wake up in darkness <gasps> as the kobold greets you. But it seems you've done well. What did you expect? Wasn't certain. I am here for two things, I suppose. First, a thanks from the Deep One. It was a binding contract, but with no war master, there is no contract. So thank you for that. Well, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, I suppose. Indeed. And now, to conclude our business, I'll be taking your soul now. Ah, but I still live. You've got no claim on it while I'm still breathing. <laughs> of course. The deal simply was, I lay claim to your soul but in the end, you still live. We never declared when I'll take the soul. You'll continue to live. In fact, you're going to be living for a long, long time. And at that point, the kobold will hold out his hand. To claim your soul, do you accept the spell? Or do you attempt to save? As your soul, as you feel something ripping within you. Do I, um, uh, 
Do I have any uh, idea of the ramifications of not having a soul? If you didn't have a soul? Yeah, like if he takes it, what happens to me while I'm living and not having a soul? You, all he has stated is that you will continue to live. But he's, have take, but, he's take, but he's taking your soul now. You can't oh, die, essentially, no. but you're not going to be able to, like... You're just going to, like, live forever, but, like, nothing's going to feel good. No. I fucking told this kobold. I told this kobold if he pulled this shit. Oh, hold on. I'm coming hold to on, get Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Armstrong's moment. Armstrong, what do you do? Uh, no, this is not acceptable. Um, I will, if I can, draw my weapons and attack him. First, make a constitution saving throw. Come on, buddy. 14. A 14 will not be enough as your spiritual energy leaves your body. No, Armstrong. And goes into the kobold. Just in case this happens. The following has happened while your soul is out. You have become an immortal. It is a legendary being who, in a sense, can never die of natural causes. You're not undead or a corpse. You are simply missing out on your soul. You believed you had maybe four, six years left. Well, unless you die in battle, you will go on living until the end of time. Okay, okay. But your soul belongs to the kobold and to the deep one now. I will allow you a response, a reaction. Okay. I'll probably pull out my weapons and think about trying to, you know, stab him a whole bunch, but then once the soul is gone and I realize that nothing is changing too much. You, you do feel a little cold. I will probably sheathe my weapons and swallow my pride and plan to return at a later date. <laughs> the kobold nods. <clears throat> Our deal is concluded. You are being taken back now. The transport, the teleportation, your ship has arrived. And you all will arrive after a long and well-deserved restful sleep. Be warned, though. For this teleportation to take place, a month of time will have passed. <coughs> and he cackles a little bit. <laughs> and I believe Kreshart has fall into some dangers of its own. But you can handle that, can't you? Are you done? Do you have any more clauses you'd like to throw in there? Our deal is concluded. I... Well, this ain't the last you've seen of Captain Cornelius Armstrong. Mark me words. <laughs> no. I'm sure it isn't. And at that point, you will fall asleep. <clears throat> um, you all awaken. The feel of sun on your face, wind, and the sound of the beach. Echoing in the distance. 
as you have awakened from a one month slumber. Jesus. <laughs> All together, you wake up. What do you do? Look for the ship. <laughs> so you wake up. Uh, do you say anything to each other or, or anything like that? That's my first instinct to look for the ship. I oh. mean, I, I think, yeah, Alis doesn't know that, like, time has passed, right? Like, that's not obvious to us right away. So right. Alis would just kind of, like, bask in the fact that he's back on solid <laughs> ground. Like, I, I think Luna feels like something's wrong. I think her kind of long living elf <laughs> senses and being tied to, to certain things. I think she, I don't know if she had a bad dream about what had happened or she just feels something isn't quite right. And she kind of looks over at Armstrong and she just feels concerned and kind of uneasy, but at the same time looks around and it's very surreal to be back again. And she's thankful they made it back. Um, Leighton? Um, I, I, I kind of like look at, at Armstrong and just kind of try and see if he's like okay because it, I know that in the back of my mind that we made the, um, you know, mm -hmm. that we we made that deal so and Armstrong is everyone alright anyone have any uh, strange dreams I think Luna looks over at him and she just gets like kind of inexplicably sad and she kind of can't really say anything. And she sort of just like uh, shakes her head a bit and looks away. I'm not going to spill the beans. I think I'm actually in denial. As you instinctively begin to look around, see where is the misdemeanor. You look over to, to Kreshart. Um, home has changed a little bit. As you see the, uh, it now waves the it now waves a, a different flag. It waves the flag of Ironside. As a, I thought it was going to be heck. As a fleet of ships, all with Ironside's banner, has now been beached. But within its docks, you do see it. Untouched. Well, you see, you see the ship that you recognize. And it is the misdemeanor. Which is also bearing the banner of Ironside. You mother. <laughs> and we will have to see what happens on the next season oh my god of the misdemeanor <laughs> we lived <laughs> no one died <laughs> oh good was that a good finale oh that was good yeah, yeah. that okay. was crazy i'm glad you all enjoyed well done yourself. everybody yes. we rolled well we worked together very as you, proud as you can tell that was our the most difficult encounter in IO to date. So you all should be very proud of yourself. <laughs> I I was starting to sweat when I saw um, Armstrong go down turn one. I was like, uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Dude, I, know, I was like, how hard is this battle going to be? <laughs> yeah, same. I did say. That, I did say that, it was going to be hard. Hey, dude, we that stat, stunning strike, that, uh, man. Oh, my God. That stunning strike. That was That was everything. You know what's oh. funny? I could not I could not use stunning strike in all this entire time because a monk doesn't have a weapon 
but the minute that immortality became a weapon, I could use it. <laughs> oh, you can use Saiyan Strike with monk weapons? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I couldn't use it at all this entire campaign. Mm. And, and then right when you gave me the sword, I was like, oh, I have a sword now. I can do this. That's good. I love it. That's absolutely good. Well, this has been a, uh, I know, a very long session, but I thank you very much for sticking to the end so that we can give this a proper conclusion. The question I have for you all is simply, do you want to take a week off, take a couple of weeks off, or if you are feeling confident and ready, we can start, and I, I, I can't really do this. I, I don't do this very often with the, all the other uh, games, but we can start season two as early as next week. Great. Let's do it. Cool with me. Does that work with <gasps> everybody? Hell yeah. Roll right. right on. Let's go. <laughs> the, uh, of course, art I uh, want to show because you did uh, link it in our fan art page. I didn't know if this was a private art or not. Is uh, Dodger was very sweet and kind to get a season one art commissioned of everyone. Yeah. And it was absolutely lovely. And it was lovely. It was heartwarming. Uh, do you want to say who the artist was who did this? Uh, Frost Lamazon on Twitter. I I wrote it out in the fan art channel on the Discord. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they were lovely. I described all of the characters and they absolutely nailed it. Uh, so yeah. it ended up being a very cute like, yeah, this is this was the crew. Season one, maybe season two. There will be more people on this ship. Who knows? Yep, so yep, yep. <laughs> um, we will be joined in season two. Um by Masse, who is yeah! who I talk to Woo! and is a lovely, lovely individual. Um, so they will be, if they are available, joining uh, joining next week. So uh, yeah, it should be absolutely awesome. Uh, we'll be uploading the finale sooner than usual, normal, so that way everyone can catch up if you haven't had the chance to do so. And, uh, and yeah, so guys, thank you so much. Is there anything you want to say before we depart season one thanks for Honestly, watching good job. <laughs> yeah. thank you for uh for putting up with my naivety because i didn't know what i was doing so no you you did great you all i think you all picked it out i think you all picked it up very very well so um season two is where we, well there's there's a lot happening in season two i feel like um season two I, th I yeah i think a season two a lot's gonna happen you've got of course the 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 city being taken over armstrong vengeance against the deep one other things that are happening in the background that may or may not be affecting other members of the crew a lot but this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun adventure so i'm looking forward to continuing to dm you guys for a brand new story arc so thank you guys so much for being a part of it yeah, it was so fun. I'm very excited for season two. I'm I I I I am as well. I am as well. I'm almost certain we'll be able to do it next Saturday. Um, we can start in, but if we do need more time, I'll let you guys know because I might start. I might like do some finishing touches. Be like, man, I think we need more time with this. So I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. But but yeah. So thank you guys so much. That was abs that was absolutely wonderful. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because I know it's been we've been up for a while. I'm going to say goodbye to chat and we'll, we'll okay. most likely be back next week. So thank you again. You guys were wonderful. Awesome. Woo! Thank you, guys. Thank you, chat, for watching. Yes, thank I'll, you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Bye. bye, -bye. bye. All right, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the finale. Was that, an, was that a good finale for you all? I'm beat. I'm beat. Arnar, thank you for the 13 subs. Wow, wow. Thank you so much for that, Arnar. That was very, very, very nice of you. Pretty, pretty, pretty pog, pretty pog, pretty, pretty pog. That any we learned that you can't always have your cake and eat it too, so long I'm strong. So I tried to be very careful with the way I worded that, by the way, <laughs> through the entire time. Gerard, thank you for gifting 10 subs as well, bud. You don't, you don't have to do that. You're the player. 
My gift to you is the game. Thank you so much for all the sub love. That is awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hype train up. Hype train up. Yeah, I try to be very careful. I even... Did I see the gift? I, I did, Arnor. That was very cool. That was very awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, it's over at the Fan Art channel. If you guys want to check it, head on over to IO. Is Wood Gnome okay? You're going to have to find out Season 2, my friend. You're going to have to find out Season 2. The fate of Wood Gnome. And Lawrence, specifically. Um, also, want to let you know, we have a sticker shop now. You guys want to head on over there, get yourself some stickers. Uh, also, uh, thank you so much for the, the bits. Um, if you want to purchase some stickers, head on over there. I also have an IO mug there, and if the mugs sell well, we might even add more mugs to the shop. So go ahead and check it out. The stickers are awesome. Great artists. You did, you did a wonderful job, so thank you so much for that. I am beat, chat. That was five, almost five hours of good DMing. I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go ahead and depart now. Uh, let me go and thank the subs. Also, if you want to support the show, head on over to the Patreon. Your support on the Patreon has been uh, honestly phenomenal, chat. We are literally 10% of the way to our next Patreon goal, which is music that will be composed for the game. We'll have a, tr I'll have a track written once per month. So we're almost there. Uh, I think our goal is to try and get to $1,000 uh by the end of the year fingers crossed we're at one more month i think we can do it so check it out lots of great things on the patreon join our io discord channel absolutely great uh and also want to give a shout out to link zormaj uh julia shark and the hug hunter for being our big patreon supporters can do it without you guys thank you so much for that uh let me go and thank the subs real quick before we wrap up completionist dude gerard thank you for the 10 gifted subs arnar thank you for the 13 gifted subs you guys got gifted sub by either make sure to thank him in chat um, Boo Boo, thank you for the 123 bits. PG Wipeout for the 200 bits. Boo Boo gifted a sub to Ant Snorlax. Thank you so much. Camp Noodles, thank you for the Prime sub and welcome to the Rack Pack. Link to Armage, the tier 3 sub for 18 months. Big Pog. Great Hurt gifted a sub uh, to Butch Masculinity. Thank you so much for gifting that sub. All right. That is it. We'll be back on Monday with episode 3 of Tower of Archimedes. They're in the middle of a big fight as well. But I believe if they survive, they'll get to take a nice little peek within the actual tower itself. Should be a good episode. And then D&D resumes all this week, so got plenty of D&D games to look forward to. Uh, if you want to catch up, uh, if you've missed any episodes of The Misdemeanor, head on over. Head into the VOD channel. You know what to do. We got to 3,000 subs on YouTube. Thank you so much for that support. All right, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to unwind, relax. And prepare for Monday and for season two, which will most likely be next week with new, new, uh, new person, Massey. So, oh, thank you so much. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for being a wonderful audience. Love you all very much. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. <gasps> bye bye. <laughs>